2020 career and finance guidance session. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be how you can secure the bag in 2020. How you going to get that coin. All right. How you can make money and experience fulfillment. Okay. And be it if that's in your own business, whether you're wanting to start a business, start a YouTube channel. I don't really know. We'll see what comes out in the cards and even a corporate career or job. Listen, you can be happy, make money owning your own business. Okay. Um, you know, going to a nine to five, three to 10, it don't matter. The thing about it, what I want to provide you with, with this career and finance guidance is I really want to take a look at you, okay? A look on a soul level inside of yourself, what you're passionate about, because that's going to bring the most success. Because we are in 2020, honey. It's all about securing the bag and being happy, okay? <laughs> and it very much is real. I want to help the beautiful soul that is ready to excel. Did I say that right? In 2020. So this reading is not going to be for the average person, the average Joe. I am talking to the wow cards of the world. I am talking to the game changers of the world. I am talking to the beautiful soul that have so much creativity, inspiration inside of them. And you're trying to figure out how do you make that and, and you know, turn that into something, that coin, <laughs> that dollar and be happy. And I know this for sure works because it's how I accumulated that wealth <laughs> is literally a reading, a session of this such. And I opened my mind. I opened my heart. Okay. And I just went for it. So I have one, two, three, four pals from you to pick, um, pick from. However, before we get to that, I just want to share some tips and some things that I have learned to really help me secure the bag and manifest money from so many different ways, okay? Money is an energy, simple. The more that you look within yourself, the more that you're open-minded, the more money will find you. <laughs> Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with you, it may. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone that's going to help you really prepare and secure the bag in 2020. Okay, listen to your intuition, honey. So one of the things that I love that I have used that works, it's ancient, honey, and I have manifested some guap <laughs> using these things, okay, are bay leaves. I love bay leaves and I have bay leaves here. Literally what it is that you do is you set an intent, okay? Because you are the creator of your reality. Whatever you ask for, whatever you say, okay? And you repetition, you do it repeatedly and you put yourself in that vibration, you visualize it, you see it, it has to come to you, all right? And we know in 2020, we are flowing in the realm of spirits, okay? And mystic and magic. And every spiritual belief, no matter what you believe, in some way, it may not be these words. However, I grew up in Christianity and that was the one that was st stuck to me. So as a man think, if so, is he? <laughs> and then I came into spirituality, honey. Guess what? Your thoughts create things. So either way, this is very true. Okay, so what you do is you get a bay leaf, you set an intent, what, what it is that you want, okay, on this bay leaf. You write it and then you burn it. Some people like to carry bay leaves in their wallet, in their pocketbooks, in their pocketbooks, okay. Um, 
I don't have a wallet, so I just like to burn mine. <laughs> also, as you can see right here in front of us, another way that you can accumulate wealth, okay? Be open, different different doors. It's really working with the goddess energy. And there are so many goddesses, but the one that is going to be supporting us, okay, through this reading today is the beautiful god goddess. Pray I say her name right. Forgive me, Lakshmi. <laughs> Forgive me, girl. Okay. Um, she is the goddess of luxury. All right. Everything luxurious wealth and you can you know ask to work with her she likes a clean space <laughs> so let's just say that she likes a clean space you know um and she's going to help you get things in in order in your life so when you come to lakshmi make sure that you're ready because on an internal level you know spiritual level and outer level she's going to help you get organized because you know, the more that you declutter from your life, the more that you can invite wealth and good things in, okay? So working with the goddess Lakshmi um, or any goddess, goddess that you prefer, but when it comes to money, wealth, and luxury, right there. Yeah. Also right here, okay, I have my wand. And this is actually a pin. I stick it in, but sometimes I use it as my wand. But um, this is my pen that I script with when it comes to my money. I set an intent. This is the only pen that I script with when it comes to money. And if you are not familiar with scripting, there are so many things on YouTube. I'll save you the details <laughs> in this video, but scripting, okay? Writing love letters to money, okay? Envisioning yourself, seeing yourself prosperous, seeing yourself with whatever it is that you want in a job that, you know, where it's relaxing, you can make money, that it feels good, it's calming, you know, it has all these perks and this career, you know, um, blooming your own business, blooming your own, you know, um, your, your own YouTube, whatever it is that you're desiring your own, you know, arts and craft gallery, painting gallery. I don't know, but just writing and envisioning. Okay. So those are just some of the things that I do to really cultivate wealth in my life. And guess what? They have what? worked <laughs> all right so now that we have all of that out of the way my loves i know that was long however i wanted to share that with you now we're going to go ahead and get into your personal career and finance session for 2020 now keep in mind you can watch in the beginning in the middle in the end two years from now whenever this video finds you sorry about bumping the camera this is when this is meant for you know you to come into this space we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, what I wanna let you guys know, I cannot control what comes out in these cards, okay? Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the stone that is calling to you. So for pile one, we have pyrite, okay? AKA fool's gold right here. Love it, love it, love it. Hope it is it right there, okay? So this is pile one. I want you just to ask your angels, your guides, spirit, God, the divine, what is it that they want you to know about your finances and career? What we have, I'm going to probably mess this up, Citrine. <laughs> Citrine, I always mess this name up, okay? <laughs> and then for pal three, we have none other than Rose Court, okay? Rose Court for pal three. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to not let it, like, do that. Okay. And lastly, we have... I always mess, I think it's Labrador, but I always mess this up. But this stone is so beautiful. I put the name in there. My mom actually gave this stone to me. I love it. My favorite stone. I Look at that. It's just so gorgeous. It's in, it just calms me. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick the crystal or stone that is calling to you. Okay. Calling to you. Guys, don't judge my nails. My nail tech is on vacation, okay? <laughs> I swear, it's, it's crazy because like when you get a person that like you really vibe with, I know this is so left, but when you get a person you really vibe with, like nail technicians stay on freaking vacation. Like they got the guap, okay? Like, oh my God, they got the guap. But anyways, okay, go ahead and pick which stone 
our crystal is calling to you and we are going to go ahead and get started okay so for all my beautiful souls that picked pyrite i pray that i'm seeing that right <laughs> my pal number ones this is what spirit wants to open up with to you okay this is what spirit wants to open up with concerning your finances and career in 2020 um this is going to be a really important message that spirit wants you to know like this is what's needed of you okay like this is what you need to apply right here <laughs> this is what you need to apply to really secure the bag in 2020 and for my pal ones I'm not gonna butcher that goddess's name okay but grab it look her up <laughs> you know i really feel like these goddesses that you're picking they really desire to you know work with you in some form in some way but what spirit wants to say is golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. I'm hearing very clearly. Fear has to be a non-factor for you, my love, in 2020. Golden opportunities are here for you. But it is going to take you to know your worth, know that you have it to walk through these doors, to pursue the things, you know, that you want to do. I feel like in the past and one, you know, even though it's <laughs> I'm posting this, but in, in 20 in 2019, you probably liked this, you know, really held back, you know, really didn't, you know, step up to the plate when, you know, these opportunities were presented to you. And I'm, I'm hearing like. Listen, a lot of golden opportunities are yours. Spirit is going to open that door. That door is already open and it's going to, it's already done for you, my pal number ones, but you have to walk through it. You have to seize the moment, okay? Important doors are opening for you right now. They're already open. Now you, what spirit needs from you, my love, is for you to let go of fear, let go of doubt, okay? Don't second guess yourself and walk through them because it's already done. I feel like for my 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 pick ones, you spend a lot of time. Okay? Sorry guys, I'm just I'm just trying to get what the message that spirit is saying. Securing the bag for you, my number my my pick ones is about you really stepping into your destiny and your life purpose, okay? Really allowing your emotions to flow. Um, I feel like for here, a lot of you are your healers, okay? <laughs> you're a healer of some sort. Um, maybe you're still trying to define that and trying to find the courage to do what it is that's really on your heart, but spirit is going to bring you the opportunities, but it's about you walking through the door, okay? I feel like sometimes when it comes to those thoughts, like fear grips you. It's a sense of downplaying yourself. And I'm hearing not to do that in, 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 in 2020. Okay. So what I want to do really quick, um, my number ones. Sorry, just getting the cards. <laughs> so what we're going to do, my number ones right here, is we're going to go ahead and to see what is it that you need to surrender to in 2020, right now in this very moment, to secure the bag, okay? And really experience financial freedom. What do you need to surrender to to really walk through the doors that spirit is opening for you? Because the doors are already open, but it's just about you letting go of fear. So let's just see, what do you need to surrender in order to really secure the bag in 2020, spirit? What do they need to surrender? What is the beautiful soul that is watching and has picked pile one? What do they need to surrender to? Okay. There's a lot of emotions surrounding you. Okay. A lot of emotions. Okay. 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 So for my pick ones, I feel like you get caught up in your head. You probably talk yourself out of <laughs> situations because we have surrender obsessive thinking. 
If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So I feel like, yes, there are a lot of things that you want to start. I feel like you get ideas from spirit. Spirit downloads you different things to do, but maybe they're so big and you just can't see right now, like how you're going to achieve it. Like maybe you overthink, you know, and then what, but before you do that, you know, um, <laughs> you talk yourself out of the situation or, or you, like you play it small you know fear fear is coming up and it's crazy because this card right here is <laughs> surrender to success you know, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities, okay? And then right here we have surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center, okay? I feel like this stress... Um, for some of you, it, it's due to the lack of the lack of the, like the lack of finances or um, let's just say if you're in a job or a career that you really don't work, it's very like you really don't like it's very stressful. <laughs> OK, or let's just say you don't have like a job and, and that stress is on you or even if like you're, you're doing something, you're kind of flowing in your purpose or you're kind of doing something, but it hasn't really brought in the big bucks. What spirit is saying, any of those situations is because you have to really open up to the golden opportunity. Spirit is sending you help. Spirit is sending you um, ways and people and different, you know, Things that will help you in either of those um, scenarios that I gave, great jobs, but it's about you knowing within yourself that you can do it, okay? Because I feel like because of that, a lot of you just scale back and, and just, you know, just do something or do jobs or, you know, things that just stress you out. You know, overworking yourself. I feel like if you really followed your heart, Listen to your emotions, okay? Listen to that heart, you know, take a chance. Walk through that door. I know you, maybe you don't feel like you have the credentials that you can do this, that this is really attainable. It's, it's just too much. That's where that over-obsessing comes in. But I feel like when you do the stress and the restless, you know, and the restlessness will go away because we have surrender to rest and sleep. For some of you, I feel like what you need to do is just allow spirit in. <laughs> you know, maybe you feel like you got to do it yourself. You got to make it happen yourself. When spirit is providing golden opportunities, you know, doors for you to walk through. It says to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body and soul. Also, take care of yourself. You know, that's one of the things that I had to realize and, and, you know, nothing is going to fall apart. You know, even if you're in, you have a successful built um, business, you have a career that you love. There is more for you right here in 2020 to experience, um, when it comes to your finances. However, you don't want to have burnout. And I'm seeing that, you know, very I, I had to realize that my pick number one is that it's not all going to fall away if you take some time for yourself, if you get refocused and if you look at the vision, the board again, or just take some time, you know, just to do what it is that you want to do. Um, sleep, rejuvenate yourself, mind, body and spirit. We need these. We need these because if we're just going, 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 you're going to experience burnout. You know, you're going to get stressed out. And that's when the obsessing and overthinking and just really not in it, all those things will come up. So I really feel like to truly get the most when it comes to your career and finances, these are things that you really need to take a look at. All right. And release these things. Surrender it. OK. That's what I'm seeing when what needs to be released to truly experience financial freedom. 
in 2020. My number ones, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, stop questioning yourself. You overthink so much like, oh my God, can I do it? Like fear will grip you. And before you know it, you will run, <laughs> you will run. But I feel like that's a part of your, that's a part of your soul purpose. You're going to be able to help people, you know, um, heal from that. I feel like whoever, um, is in pile one, you know, Whatever you're experiencing in your finances, you're really going to be able to help people overcome that, that anxiety, that fear, or that not feeling good enough or fear of success. You're going to be able to help them overcome that. Okay. So listen, let's just see what door does spirit need you to walk through in 2020. Okay. To secure the bag. So let's see. Let's see. So on my part, number ones, I'm hearing you, um, Spirit is saying you're going to have to silence that voice. And even if that voice isn't silent, you still got to go. You still got to do it. You still have to what? Say what? I'm trying to let this fix in. Yes. Okay. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now. Leap to fly. It doesn't matter. Even when those thoughts come, even when those things come up, my pick number ones, you have to make the conscious decision to jump and leap anyway. Say yes. Just say yes. Just go. Just do it. You get an idea, go about it. You want that promotion, go for it. There's an opening for something that you're desiring, but you feel like you don't have the credentials, go for it. Just go. Just say yes. Say yes to everything that comes your way because you can guarantee that spirit is sending you and you're going to watch how your life this time next year. Watch, watch how your finances shift. And for some of you, you're a healer. I need you to know that safe and happy travels. Okay. For some of you, I see you traveling for work. Okay. And even traveling in the spirit realm. It's what, I'm, it's what I'm hearing and seeing too for some of you guys. But we have um, safe and happy travel, okay? Protection from harm when journey. I'm trying to mess it up, but taking a journey. There we go. But I, I really feel like for my number ones, Spirit is saying, you are protected. Honey, you got angels and guides right behind you. You just need to leap. You just need to say yes. Because when you do that, I promise you, your wishes are come true rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes like this like you're a healer I know I keep saying that but I feel like everything that you have experienced in your life if you're not flowing in your divine purpose there holds a lot of weight I feel like what you have experienced what you have done even if you're working a nine to five even if a three to five it's time for you to start opening up and sharing your wisdom sharing your emotions in some way okay whatever that is that could be like in counseling you know, helping people like, oh, like you have the makings of it, helping people overcome anxiety, sharing your anxiety, like transparency is will, will pave the way to money. Everyone loves transparency. You know why? Because we live in a day and age where that is just not accepted. So when we see someone being their authentic self, being trans transparent, honey, there is this kind of, you know, yes, I can be that too. You're going to pave the wave number ones to, to really like, I just see like an army rising up. Okay. There is so much financial freedom, but it's going to take you to be bold. It's going to take you to grab these golden opportunity, these life changing opportunities for some of you, you know, this is physically moving away a new state starting over. Okay. And when you do that, your wishes will come true. That's what I'm seeing. That's the door that spirit needs you to walk through. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and lay out <laughs> a couple of things and just see like what you're passionate about and just whatever else comes up. I just picked a lot of cards. We're going to place them out and I'm just going to read. <laughs> okay. All right. My number ones, here is your cards. Okay. So yes, we have a lot going on. Don't worry for each of these. I pulled some Oracle cards. Also, some life purpose cards. We'll get to we'll get to those. Go through those. Also, I pulled some chakra um, from my little chakra deck. Okay. Then I also pulled some cards up here, and then we have the tarot. Now, this right here, the question that I asked with the tarot, um, it was a particular question that I asked was, "What are you most passionate about?" Okay, on a soul level. 
okay? Um, I literally had to pause this video, my number ones, and I'm not just saying this, but I, any time that like, it, confirmation for me, like one of the ways that I communicate with my guys is when something is like, oh my God, an aha, I get break out in chills all over my body. It's like this cold thing hits me and I need you to know. I don't know when you are watching this video, you right there, you right there, but I need to tell you, get out of that head. Stop cheating yourself out of amazing opportunities. You have a heart of gold. Do you understand me? I just wish you could get in my body. I just wish you could see what spirit is showing me. But you already do. Spirit is, says you already do. But it's about you believing that it can happen for you. Okay? Now, <laughs> listen. Listen. When it comes to what you're passionate about on the soul level, we have the strength card, we have the king of cups, the ace of cups, the page of cups, and the seven of swords. You have to get out of your head. I feel like you have a lot of idea, a lot of emotions, a lot of things that you want to do that will be fruitful, okay, will be fruitful. Yes, those things, those wild ideas, those things that you want to do, they will bring you prosperity of its highest kind it's going to bear fruit your tree will but it's about you taking action okay because for my number ones you just get so fearful you get so fearful and you hold back because the king of cups all right has a lot of emotion a lot of emotion okay but you're afraid to release that and what I'm hearing for you is that you have to come out of your mind and get into your heart when it comes to career wise when it comes to your finance when it comes to really pursuing what makes you happy I don't know if you heard you know at a, at a you know um because all this this red is sticking out to me here we have the strength card we have red we have right here, we know that that's our root chakra, dealing with our stability, dealing with our relationships, our security, you know, listen, everything like really how we move, how we walk, how we talk, how we act really stems from our root chakra. Those are the things that were planted there subconsciously or consciously. Okay, you've planned it by thinking it or other people spirited at you. And I don't know in your family, you know, um, if, if fear, you know, and, and like, you know, I don't know if you grew up in poverty or you just didn't really see wealth right here in the Ace of Cups. Because with this King of Cups, what's standing out um, to me, my love, when it comes to um, the King of Cups, I'm seeing my number ones like really be open and bold to like, you know, you want to own your own business. You know, you want to, you want to be financial, um, independent. And listen, this, I feel like entrepreneur having your own business, you know, creating that revenue, whether you have it or not, but really creating that revenue or getting started on that. You want your own fi financial freedom. You want your own, you don't want to answer to somebody. And, um, that is very much real. I feel like whoever this is, a, a typical nine to five, a typical in the box kind of thing is not going to cut it with you. Even if that's like in a corporate company where you're just, you're in a corporate setting, but you're doing something wild, something where, you know, um, it's not boxed in like where the sky is the limit. Okay. Like it's limitless, you know, like closing deals. <laughs> this is what I'm fearing. Like, you know, I don't know why, but like, I feel like, I don't know if someone's getting like a realtor, a realtor, like kind of thing right here, but the, I, that vision just flashed in my head, but closing deals is what I'm seeing and, and, and creating um, things and establishing, establishing some of you establishing like little businesses or like building things, selling it. I'm seeing something like that okay, <laughs> for some of my loves, but, um, yeah, um, or I feel like, you know, at home business, you know, but something, something where 
It's going to take you to have strength. It's going to take you to know that you can do it. It's going to take you to believe in yourself. It's going to take you to really flow from your heart. Stop holding back your emotions. And I feel like right here we have forgiveness. And this is your um, your heart chakra. So any work that you give to your heart chakra to really allow these ideas and these desires to take root. Okay. Building your self-esteem. I feel like pay attention to your solar plex and your your heart okay and your um crown chakra just know that the connections and the people that you need to jump start or to pay let to, to help you is going to come okay, okay so what i'm seeing right here is we have three cups we have the king of cups the ace of cups and the page of cups cups represent emotion and I really feel like you have to come out of your logic mind and get into your heart. That is where your prosperity lies, okay? In your emotions, in your heart, in your feelings, okay? Logic for my number ones are out of the door, okay? I want to let you know you are not here. Okay, some people are here for the basics, for the regular, for the ordinary, but not you, number one. You came here to experience limitless. There's no limit. There's no limit. Okay. And I feel like anything, any career, any situation where you're able to tap into your emotions, you're an empath. All right. I really feel like it's time for you to really pay attention to your emotions because all of the, look here, emotions, emotions, <laughs> emotions. I, I'm just really want, spirit is asking me to magnify your emotions, your feelings. There is truth. There is prosperity in your emotions and your feelings. And it's time for you to act right here. With this sword is the last one, seven of swords. Stop questioning, stop overthinking it, stop making excuses so you don't have to put yourself out there, so you don't have to go where your heart is calling you, is what I'm seeing. It's time for you to take action on these ideas and these things inside of your heart. It's time for you to know that you can do it. And honestly, for my number, for my, my pick ones, I'm not just seeing one thing that you're going to, that you can really do, Okay. That's what I'm seeing. I, I'm seeing like multiple, multiple things. But it's very important for you to like really secure the bag in 2020 to listen to your emotions, listen to your desires. OK, listen to your inner experience. Listen to spirit <laughs> is what I'm hearing for you. OK, we have vision, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. Coupled with that, we have visualized abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes a reality. Scripting, law of attraction. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, okay? Health, healthful, health, healthful, positive, okay, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. It's time for you to visualize. It's time for you to see yourself, okay? How you see yourself in your heart. It's time to come out of logic. Just because it was always done that way doesn't mean that it has to go this way. Because I feel like, listen, if you listen to your emotions, if you let these ideas flow, if you follow through, if you jump, if you share yourself, if you share your wisdom, know that you have the strength, you're going to manifest this right here, the Ace of Cups, the money, okay? But if you stay in your mind, if you stay cheating yourself out, okay, I feel like you're going to keep getting the Page of Cups. It's still a cup. But it, look at this cup. Look at all this fruit right here. You know, a page. You know, it's it's a page. When you have the ability to be an ace, limitless, okay, is what I'm hearing. But it's all about your self-esteem. It's all about your confidence. Maybe you've messed up in the past. You know, maybe you've never seen anyone in your family really, you know, do this. Because we do have, um, so sorry, guys. Let me just grab these. We do have right here dreams of abundance, 
As you sleep, God and your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they can they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires in reality. You get visions, is what I'm seeing. Whether it's in your dream or just honestly, just these ideas. Pay attention to your emotions, what you get excited about. That thing like, oh my God. A lot of you, all right, are gonna be helping people um, there's a passion of you to like to just set people free, take them out of, you know, treachery or deceit and like help people expand, you know, like on a conscious level, we have divine consciousness. I feel like that's a part of your, your path, your healer of some sort. Okay. You really flow in the realms of magic and maybe you've been doing it logic because for a while I did it logically, <laughs> you know? But I feel like you're in 2020, you're breaking out of um, pa like par certain paradox or a paradigm, paragrams, you know, you know that word with the boxes that we stick in, like you're breaking out of the mat matrix and really opening up to the magic inside of yourself. Three here, creation, creating this for you with your thoughts, your, vi your visions, your emotions. Okay. Because I feel like maybe this kind of like magic and what I was talking about, Lakshmi and, you know, bay leaves and, you know, law of attraction, you know what I'm saying? And I want to let you know my ones, like, I'm not playing with you. Let me show you something. Sorry. It's not like you guys can tell that it took a long time, but I had to like find one, find one that I didn't write in yet. But I really feel like this is going to be very good for you. We have the law of attraction planner, a 30 day journal, um, a 30 day journey creating your dream life i use one of these every month every month you understand me <laughs> you can get these on amazon you can go through the website website you can get it for 11 dollars. just play shipping amazon you can get it for 20 dollars. free shipping like i get this and in this book okay they have affirmations they have things like my life um statement how would i love my life to be my vision statement how i want to contribute to this world you know the you know of course who this belongs to different things the calendar you know your moods your affirmations for the day you know today's gold what will i what will i do today to feel good today's to do list positive habits to, to create like ideas i Ideas, I notes, I mind map, you know, what, what did not happen today? Why? How can I improve tomorrow? What am I grateful for? How do I love and give today? How do I love myself today? What did I learn today? Victories today. Moves, improve your vibration. Like at the nighttime, they have it for the day. 30 days, like, and then they got different stuff in the back here. Honey, listen. Questions, what obstacles or fears did I encounter inside myself? Like the assessment here, reflection of the month. You go through this. This is really real, really, really real. And I feel like there's a spiritual awakening happening to you and it's showing up very heavy in your finances because it's, I feel like you're going to be honoring your life path in 2020, whether you're doing it or not. For some of you, this is dancing. It's whatever way, it's endless ways that I really feel like you're... um. You can like make money and do your life purpose. I don't care if you're a makeup artist, like when you're putting on the face, just the energy that you're bringing to it. But I really feel we have Scorpio. So we have um, transform, okay? And I feel like this is what's going on in your finances and even career wise, okay? You know, <laughs> and this could be changed. This could be very, very different for you, you know? Because maybe you're used to it another way. Maybe you have set boundaries for yourself, but I see like you're breaking free from them, okay, in, in 2020 and really coming into the pleasure. Who said you have to do this? You can do whatever you want and you're going to be realizing that and which is really going to help you accumulate this ace of cups and this wealth and your finances where you're happy and, and you know, helping and setting people free and making money, <laughs> you know, and doing whatever it was inspiring. Setting free could be inspiring somebody to follow their dreams because they see you following your their dreams. So when it comes to, when I pull from the life purpose um, cards, we have builder. And I feel like my number ones, in the beginning, it's going to be hard as fuck to follow this path. But as you continue it, it's going to get easier because now I'm, I'm really like, I feel like I'm flowing more easier with this. But I feel like you have to embrace it. And, and some of these changes that you're coming into, my love, it's totally out of your element, totally out of what you 
um, have experienced because for my number ones, I feel like there's a spiritual awakening happening, which is going to shift your career. So we have builder, okay? Your um, innate ability to build and create brings a deep sense of accomplishment. You're a builder. Now, remember I said that in the beginning, I, I kind of felt that whatever you do, you build, baby, you build. It's going to prosper. It's going to grow when you honor your emotions, when you honor your heart. Okay. Infinite abundance, typical schmegler schmegler is not going to run it for you. Whether it's, you know, infinite abundance, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. I'm telling you. You're honoring your purpose. And we also have let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Maybe right now it's just it's, you're just not there, you know. So you might have to work a nine to five or you might have to, you know, just find something that's more so in your comfort zone because that's the least resistance right now because <laughs> maybe this is just too big for you. But remember, it's going to happen, okay? Even moonlighting, working a space and then working on this part time. Maybe if you're doing this full time and you're just like very overwhelmed, maybe you need to get that, you know, that kind of, you know, that get that something to like really help you work with this root chakra to secure that foundation so you can really flow in your life purpose. But for some of you, yeah, a book wants to be birthed and this book is going to be a number one bestseller. You connect you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Also, one of my challenges for 2020 is to read a book a week. I didn't study. You heard me. A book a week. All of the greats do it. And I'm great. You're great. So you, we got to do it. <laughs> you don't have to do a week. But really opening up to books more. For some of you, is birthing a book. That really needs to happen. It's going to be a number, a number one seller. Rather, you're going to have the platform that people are going to support you. Heavenly, honey. That book is going to gross you hella cash. Really going to secure a bag. And even open up to the, invest that money into something that, you know, is going to bring you longevity. Also, I'm seeing read like really leaders are readers. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know, so really open in that mindset for 2020. Also, for some of you, we have counseling, helping people work through their emotions. You know, that's a part of your your purpose. It says you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathic ear. Remember, this is why you have to pay attention to your emotions. All right. Through your movements, your feelings, your energy, like people listen to you. You have so much wisdom, guidance, experiences, and it's time for you to really share that in 2020, my loves. <laughs> okay, so I know that this was different, but you're different, okay? And I want you to go be brave whenever you are watching this video, okay? Keep it in that heart, all right? Let that penetrate your soul. Match with, that vibra match with that vibration and this is yours, okay? I love you so freaking much and we're gonna go ahead and go to my choices. My loves have picked choice number two. And welcome my number twos to all of you beautiful souls that pick, pray don't mess this up, citrine. Citrine, that word, <laughs> or that crystal. For all of you that picked this crystal. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what is it that you need to know, okay, to really secure the bag um, in 2020 and also your finance and career guidance? So this is what Spirit wants to open up with you too, okay? Did I say that right? Pray I did. But this is what Spirit just really wants you to embody in 2020, okay? Or whenever you're watching this reading. So the thing that Spirit wants you to embody is Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So my love, <laughs> what I'm hearing is just that allow things to flow naturally in 2020. This is what you really need to apply. You need to apply this to your life to really secure your bag in 2020. All right. This is what I'm seeing for you, my beautiful souls that picked this right here. You know, it's not going to get away from you. You know, it's the well is not going to dry like like run out or, you know, dry up. I just feel like this scarcity. Like if you don't do it now, you're going to miss your opportunity. And spirit is saying, move away from that. OK, and come into easy does it and watch how much success and it, it gets easy for you. Because sometimes when we're trying to force things, we pile things on our plate and it just overworks us, overthinks us. And it's just it's just oh it just creates chaos is what i'm hearing okay 
So spirit is just saying, easy does it. You need to start simplifying things, okay, and just allow things to happen. Understand that everything is occurring in perfect timing, all right? And even when I was first looking at this card, I had to pause and think because it's just the energy, like maybe you just didn't understand that. And if you're having a hard time understanding that, it's going to make sense later on. Spirits are going to bring you back to this moment, <laughs> okay? So what I want to do for you guys right now, okay, we're going to slide these into the picture. And what I want to do for my number twos is I want to go ahead and just see, you know, what do you need to surrender to really secure the bag and come into financial and career freedom, whether you're working not on your business, it doesn't matter. We're going to get through all, all that good stuff. But this is what you need to surrender. I'm going to take three cards, but this caught my eye on the back right here. It says, surrender to creativity. It says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. You know, stay open. Be creative. OK, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing for some of you. Maybe you've tried to do this. You're forcing the straight and narrow and maybe the straight and narrow when it comes to your finances is not what it is meant for you. <laughs> and spirit is saying it's time to like, you know, let go. And, and when you let go, you're, you're going to open yourself up creatively and you're going to start creating these ways to create wealth and stability and whatever it is that you desire when it comes to your career and your finances. OK, now, one of the things that um. I did see, you know, or what I say, I did feel, <laughs> I see it so vividly, right? Um, it literally just slipped me. It'll come back, but we're going to go ahead and just pull three cards. If it's meant, it will come back and see, that's what you need to, that's what you need to do. My loves, you know, don't try to force it and sit there and try to remember what it was. I'm going to say, you know what? It's slipped mine. It's, it's, it's not meant at this moment. You know, it'll come back if it's meant. I feel like that's the attitude that you need to like come into where in the past you haven't. OK, there we go. Look, it came back to me. You know, maybe you're trying to do something, you know, the, the straight and narrow. And I feel like you need to let that go. And even when I'm peeping it back, it says surrender the habit of people pleasing. Maybe you're just trying to people please and just do what is expected of you, you know, or what you grew up in or what seems right to everybody else when it comes to your career and finances. And it's time for you to get creative. OK. And what spirit wants me to let you know, you are not of the norm. OK, <laughs> you're not anyone who truly resonates with me. You're not normal. OK, you're part of the one percent. OK, that's what we have in common. And you're, you're you are really meant to come here to experience. Um prosperity and all of these good things, you know, um, in all forms. Some are probably some of the different craziest ways is what I'm seeing. So a little bit more than three came out. We have four here, but we're going to take it because I feel like someone needs to hear something. Okay. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, occurring Occur, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So someone really needs to really let go of, of, of that mindset that it has to happen now. If it hasn't happened, and I feel like just not even in your finances, because like even for some of you, love is coming up right now. And I feel like, you know, just release whatever you release and allow it to flow to you. It will come to you. OK, so let's just see. Oh, my God. Now, didn't I just say there's like the scarcity? There's this is lack. And what you need to surrender, my number twos, is to surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life, okay? In your life, not in just in your career. <coughs> and as I'm saying that, let me drink some water because my throat chakra just literally want to close up on me. So that's some truth. You really, really want to, um, really want to pay attention to your root chakra, work with your root chakra, affirmations, um, meditate, meditating, yoga, different things, mantras for your root chakra. Cause there's a, there's a grip on scarcity. Like something's going to run out and it's not going to be enough. You don't have enough time. It's just this whole thing is scarcity, you know, and partners and love. Just, and it, you should probably show up in different areas of your life. Um, but it says you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams when you surrender the belief in scarcity and realize that this is an unlimited 
you know, um, a, a, an unlimited buffet right here <laughs> in life, you know, that you can enjoy and you can have is what I'm seeing. Okay. Then next we have, um, surrender obsessive thinking. Okay. This came out in pile number one, two. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, remember I just said that. Okay. The overthinking, overanalyzing, because when you get stuck in your head, oh my God. And for some of you, not awful, you, when, when, you know, when you get stuck in your head, you just stop. Everything is at a standstill. You don't even know which way to move is, is what I'm hearing. But it says, um, if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to this two spirit release, allow it, take the path, the least resistance doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. Okay. Now did not say for some of you, I'm seeing love come up too. Okay, because I, I just feel like this, this belief in scarcity is affecting your money and your love life. And spirit is saying to truly spirit wants to bless you with all of these things in 2020. But there's a need for you to let go of this belief. And it says surrender your fear of intimacy. When you overthink a person like you overthink it, like, are they genuine? Are they this? Or, oh, my God, they didn't text. They didn't call. Da, 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 Before you know it, like you didn't talk to yourself all out of it, your thought, thought, your thought pattern is somewhere negative. So now the universe has to bring that to you. So it says you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any pattern that stops you from opening up your heart. Also, reason why love is coming up because I feel like for my number twos, honoring your life past path, honoring your whatever you're passionate about. OK, um, your career and your love life is tied in. You're probably going to meet this person in this setting. OK, is what I'm seeing. And then it says surrender to silence. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Spirit. Like, seriously, guys, like literally when you just let go, man, so many things is going to flow to my number twos. It says in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what you need to really surrender to really secure the bag and, and walk in financial freedom in 2020. OK, so what I want to do right now is I just want to see what door what door do you need to walk through? OK, right now, what door are you walking through? OK, when it comes to your finances in 2020. 20. What door are you walking through and need to walk through? Oh my God, my number one's got this. You just need to say yes. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. You just got to trust because I feel like that's why, every, you know, even believing in scarcity or in the lack or you got to do it now because the trust in the universe, you know, in, in yourself, just really trusting. I feel like some of you know you trust in yourself. That's why you're putting all the stress on you, but really opening up to the universe, you know, really opening up to the universe, really going to the places that you're being drawn to go right here with um, begin here. Do not fear what travel brings. My dear, the moment is yours. Begin now here. Pass this on. OK, it's time for you to leap through this path, leap through this keyhole, leap through this door into the tree of life, into the tree of the universe, trusting the universe. That's the door that you're walking through in 2020. That's really going to open you up to endless possibilities when it comes to your finances. OK, and securing the bag. I don't know why, but like my ring, my moon ring, crescent moon. I feel like you need to pay attention to the moon, um, moon phases. Yeah. For a lot of you, your your um, the door the spirit needs you to walk through. You're going to be walking through in 2020 when it comes to your career um, is really we have safe and happy travel. OK, protection from harm when journaling this for journey. You know what I mean? Some of you, this is like physically traveling to a new state, a new position, um, a new, a new way, but also in a spirit realm because you you have to first make, make up, make it up in your mind, you know, to go there. We also have the sun here. It says the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. So for a lot of you, I see you like traveling. I see you like really blooming up. There's something for some I'm feeling very heavy from this, this, this pal. Like, I don't know if you guys already have a platform. You're thinking about having a platform. There's something that you're known for. You're thinking about being known for. 
You know what I'm saying? Like whether you're modeling or I'm just saying like LA, Cali, New York, the dream. You don't have to go there, but you know like what is attached to that fame and fortune. And you know, I'm just hearing like you have to, someone needs to take a leap. Spirit is going to be physically moving you guys somewhere, doing something. And I'm just seeing you need to leap. You need to go because we have fame and fortune. <laughs> okay. Look at this achievement, win the award. Okay. Or contract in that other word that I'm not going to butcher, <laughs> but this is what I'm seeing for you right now. Listen, oh my God, guys, successful career, a happy working environment, pay, it says pay raises, pay raises and promotions. So yeah, for some of you, this is like a fizz, like you're going to be moving. I'm feeling like, I know it's so cheesy, like movie star, but some kind of fame has got your name on it in 2020 in your community. But a lot of you, I feel like on a big, on a big level, a big a big screen. I don't know if you're writing, you're rapping, you're singing. You know what? Really just stop overthinking, allowing it to flow, getting creative. For some of you, I feel like you need to change managers. For somebody, like you need, listen, if it's already been in your heart, you know what you got to do, move forward, okay? You need to treat, change management. I feel like they're not giving you, I don't even care if this is a big no name. I feel like they're not giving you the exposure that you know that you need, okay? That's just for some of you. Mm -hmm. Look at <laughs> transition to a higher level of being raising your energetic vibration of enlightenment. OK, so listen. Yeah, this group right here, number two, y'all famous. Who is y'all? Y'all like because, you know, I deal with a lot of people <laughs> that like be Instagram famous singers like like I be dealing with people. So I'm, I'm congressman. You'll be surprised who is really like into tarot, guys. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> you know, I, I disclosure, I don't share anybody that's working with me, but I have worked with people that, let's just say, <laughs> you'd be like, oh my God. I had to like compose myself, you know. I've even worked with millionaires. So listen, y'all, get out your head, okay? Get out your head because. And wherever you get an opportunity to travel or move or wherever you're being to be able to travel for work, for career change, go. It's, it's going to be successful. OK, this is what spirit needs you to walk through. Is what I'm seeing now. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out your your whole spread. Bring all the cards out. <laughs> all right. And here we go. My number twos. We're going to go ahead and get down to business. So the first thing that I want to tell you right freaking now <laughs> Like, who are you? For some of you, you're famous. You're famous. You're in the making of being famous. You're on the road to fame and fortune. This star is really sticking out to me. Okay. For some of you who have already achieved success, you're famous. You're known. Okay. Um, or you're known in your community. You're known in your, in your, your craft, your career, whatever it is that you, you know, in, in some form or some way. And another thing that I'm seeing for my pick number two is listen, y'all, I'm going to tell you something real quick. For some of you, you're going to be walking away from a career and really coming into your soul mission, your soul purpose. Because right here, right here, the tarot cards are really what you are passionate about. I ask the question of what you are passionate about on a soul level, okay? I feel like there is more for you. Your, create, your creativity is asking to be explored in 2020, okay? <laughs> You're literally, right here, we have the three of cups, Three is a number of creation. It is also your sacral chakra. Okay. Your sacral chakra is your pleasures. It's your spirit. Like it's where the divine is. It's everything that feels good to you. It's your creative juices, your creative flow. Okay. So I really feel to really secure the bag in 2020 to really get the financial freedom. You have to be able, you have to allow your creativity to flow because that's where you're most joyful at. So if you're in a nine to five, if you're do, if, even if you're flowing in your creative gift, but it's really not you being yourself because we have right here with your, I pull for my chakra decks. We have truth express, um, ex expression. Truth is your throat chakra. There is some form of truth that you need to honor in your heart when it comes to your dreams. Look at how this panned it out, honey. Okay. Cause I'm gonna talk, I'm talking to two kind of people. 
the first person I'm talking to, okay, <laughs> is, I'm going to say, you famous. There's a star. You are known in your craft, in your gift, in your setting, honey. Like, you already in this thing. Like, we need to be friends. <laughs> like, somebody, like, legit, even if it's one or two of you, but somebody, like, you real big deal, blue check. Who you is? You got a blue check. I know you do. But anyways, <laughs> hey, we need to hang out. But no, seriously, guys, somebody is literally um, already in their field or following their soul passion right here, their soul purpose, okay? And I'm going to talk to you um, to really get to secure the bag in 2020 or to really experience more financial freedom in your career and your finances. There is some truth and some ex expression. And I'm also seeing expansion, even though that word doesn't say that, you know, I feel like there's some truth that maybe you haven't been honoring, you know, again, for some of you, I am feeling like some kind of agency or some, something that you've been going under is somebody that maybe you're dealing with. I see you separating, going your own ways. Okay. And really following your dreams, your path, honoring your heart. And then there is another one, another energy, a big energy that I'm picking up on for all of you that picked this number two, whether you're working a career or doing something, you have a platform with your name on it. Okay. Um, and all of the things that you desire, be it in love and money is really going to come to you honoring your soul path, honoring the passion in your soul. Um, honoring, you know, moving away from one area, one job and really going into the next. OK, I feel like everything is going to really open up. You really got to follow your truth. You really have to follow your heart. You really have to follow your dreams. It's time. It's time in 2020. If we have flourishing. OK, rest assured your dreams and visions will come to flourishing. It's all making sense. OK, and for some of you, I feel like if you are, you know, haven't really came to this, like, what are you talking about? Girl, I'm not famous. You is, you gonna be. Um, I feel like the reason why you haven't met, like, really had that match made in love or, like, your love life has been, like, a little, you know, um, for some of you, this is not gonna apply. But if you're having issues in love, this is for you. If you're good in love, you secure. We're here for finances. But I want to talk about you if you've been having difficulties in love. You're gonna meet your partner on your soul path and passion, okay? That's why it ain't working. See these rings here? Look at the ace of pentacles, the star, the goat, all of that. Okay, you got it, you got it, you got to honor this, okay? And then for some of my, um, for some, I know this has nothing to do with love. Why are we talking about love? But love is coming up. I have to talk about it. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but I feel like the reason why it's so hard for you or you're like, you know why? Because love is affecting your career. Duh. And spirit wants to bring that to the light so we can handle that so you can really focus on your career i feel like if you're in the limelight or you're very known in whatever it is that you're doing okay on a bigger scale you're like whatever it is that you're doing it doesn't even matter if you're in your hometown you're you're like you're going to be known or you're known and i feel like this causes confusion when it comes to love because you really don't know if they genuinely like you or they genuinely like the status or what you have you know that's for some of you what I'm feeling, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, but right here, it's time to really secure the back. You have to let your creativity flow. We also have the four of cups. I feel like by not, not you know, allowing your creativity flow, going away, um, going away that is norm, but it doesn't honor your truth. Whether it's somebody, they want you to do this or some way that it's always been done. But that's not the way that you're going to get there. You have to honor your truth. And I feel like when you stand in your truth and you pick your head up, all right, um, and not focus on the missed opportunities or focus on whatever it is that has you not being able to see in this present moment, okay? Because there is there is a big distraction. For some of you, it is, I want to get some, I'm going to get some of these because I've seen in these cards. Let me get it out. Um, we have... Two cards wanted to come out for you guys. And this is why I say, it, you know, it's 
with this four of cups here, this person's heads down, they're thinking about whatever the situation is. You got to really clean up your life. And for some of you, you have to clean up your love life. You have to get that organized to really embrace and focus on and create the wealth and secure the bag in 2020. We have block, block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from that what, what's important for some of you that thing is procrastination for some of you it's a physical relationship person it's it's just outside things that are just throwing you off and you can't really focus on your creative your creativity and your creative soul you know um even if you have your own business in some form but be it spiritual it doesn't matter because i'm seeing I me mean, wait till we get to those cards Man, so many things came in. It's creative. Just put that way. It's something creative. It's something artsy. It's something artist, artistry, teacher, mentor. It don't even matter. This group right here, honey, you you well in there, okay? And whether you have truly tapped into it, embraced it, you pick this, pal, you are destined for fame and fortune. Whatever you are creative about, passionate about, it's going to blow the fuck up. And you heard it here at Guided Intuition. Do what spirit and your intuition is telling you to do because shit about to get real. When I say get real, I'm talking about that ace of pentacles. Whatever business, whatever you're in, it's going to blow up. Honor your truth. Follow your heart. Listen to your dreams, not anybody else's. And really working with all of these chakra colors via eating, um, meditating, um, affirmations. It's really going to help you. OK, so right now we have the heart, we have the throat and we have the crown. OK. I'm feeling like you really need to listen to your intuition because somebody's not listening to your intuition, but let's get back to here. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it says blackout distractions. It says you already know what these distractions are. You have the power to response. Um, what is this? To responsibly block them out. Okay, sorry. Because it's causing clutter. It's just, it's causing unnecessary drama. We also have focus, you know, and, you know, this to me is like the fire, the passion. Focus on your passion. Sagittarius, be optimistic. Focus on your passion. You know, for some of you, it could be a fire sign that's, you know, throwing you off, <laughs> you know. But also, I just feel like you need to focus on your passion. And right here, we have the fifth house, creativity. It's time for you to unmask your creativity. For some of you, you know, you're maybe you're so focused on something else that, you know, a situation, be it in love, be it in, you know, other people or living situation. Like you got to get organized so you can really focus on your craft so you can build that fucking shit because it's going to be amazing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, and listen, no more complaining. This is what spirit wants you to know. No more complaining to my number twos. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never truly spiritually. Take back your God-given power by, uh, power by affirming that you have an abundance of choice and freedom with your um, increased confidence and averse. Oh, wow. oh my God, this misses. Ma basically meaning be about it. Do it now. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Being consistent. Remember I said procrastination. Also, consistency is coming up here for this group. But I really feel like employment change is coming. For some of you that have already that already have this platform, it's going to grow. It's going to get bigger in 2020 when you listen to these things. For some of you, you're walking away from a job and really come um, really going to be stepping into this it could be a little hard at first you know um <laughs> because you know i feel like you're leaving something maybe stable to really take a big risk on something but this risk is really this risk is going to be well worth it all right but you're in your mind for some of you right here we have the eight of swords the nine of swords okay this is this over 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 um analyzing a situation i feel like you're focused some of you you're focused on something but you're focused on the wrong thing you know, and I'm hearing like, take your flow, focus off of that and everything's going to come back into flow. The eight of swords, getting out of your own mind, getting out of your own head. Listen to your heart. OK, listen to your intuition. I feel like when you listen to your intuition, it's going to help you move past unseen things that maybe you, 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 you feel it on an intuitive level, but maybe it's not in the physical. So you're kind of messed up. Listen, because you got powers, baby. <laughs> you know listen you're psychic i'm telling you 
Tapping into your intuition. Your intuition plays a major part, my number two, is when it comes to creating and cultivating wealth, all right? And keeping it is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look at this, abundance. You know, even in this three of cups, this, you know, this three of cups, look at the fruit, you know, right here. You got all the elements, the fruit, the softness, you know, the fire, the passion, like all of that is, you have everything, okay? Stop overthinking, overanalyzing, looking at other distractions come out of your mind and it's right here, right here. That's what I'm seeing. It's something that you're passionate about. We're going to go ahead and look at that. But I feel like, you know, for some of you with this purity here, there is there is a need to um, move away from something that's not working. People, places, relationships, I feel like it's, it's intertwining into your finances, intertwining into your your um, your, your like your soul mission, because maybe just you your mind is just on that. OK, and I feel like there's a there's a need for a new slate. When it comes to your, um, your, um, your career, career wise, we have the, you know, oh, that's a 30, but it looked like a 10 to me. Three creating right here, new beginnings. I feel like you're going to be walking away from something to get some, you know, to, to get this new beginning is what I'm seeing. For my number twos and just even like, you know, some for some of you, this can really show up in the form of a spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions and seminars. Listen, y'all are y'all big, big bosses. Whether you know it or not, your words inspire. Your words carry weight. Nine times out of ten, if you resonate with me on a soul level, you did just feel like this closest to me. We're here. We're in this one percent. I got that in my number ones, too. But I feel it very strongly like fame and fortune right here with you. Up front center stage. You're going to be known for something that you're crafted about up front center stage. I feel that fame and fortune, like cameras flicking, business booming <laughs> kind of situation here. Okay. I feel like my number one's more subtle, but here, nah. Like, nah, you big, you big bossing. Like you you mainstream. Like it could be like for different, you know, different things, cause um some of the things we got music, singer, your talents, your crafts, playing something, your connection to music is healing yourself and others. Maybe it's time for you to really just take that leap. Just keep going. For some of you, just keep going. I know that it's not like happening now, but man, just keep going. It's going to pay off. Okay. For some of you, we have teaching your seminars with children too. You inspire young people. Some of you I'm feeling we have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. This can come in many forms. It could be like, I'm like feeling like comedy. I'm feeling like, feeling like somebody on stage, like painting. It's just all forms of creativity. But I really feel like I'm feeling like starstruck in whatever it is that you do. That's what I'm seeing. But I feel like it's going to take you to trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path, okay? Because it's not the norm. It's very different. It's very out there. And, you know, that can be scary for some of you, you know, even with flowers. You're working with flowers. Open your heart. I'm feeling like some herbs and, you know, even doing like an online spiritual shop is what I'm seeing. Setting up shop some sort. It says... Your heart, um, da -da, working with flowers, opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose of some sort. We have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world, a healer. All, like everybody's here. Like ain't like, and it's gonna be on a, like a, a, a higher level scale is what I'm seeing. We also have artists, okay? Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and Every other area of your life, remember that keeps that that word keeps coming up. So everything is tied in with um with my number twos. We have a book for some of you. This is a book that wants to be born. Okay, and 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 for some of you, I feel like it's time for you to like really think about indie. You know, managing yourself, whatever you're trying to like. If you're trying to manage your company, start something up. I'm hearing like read a book. The book gonna help you. You don't need to like. Try to pay all these people all this money. <laughs> Honest to God, that's what Spirit is telling me. Like the information, the guys that you need is right in front of you is what I'm hearing, okay? Sorry guys, I wanna try to like straighten this up. Down here at the bottom, we have vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision 
in your soul. I'm also hearing YouTube really big for you guys too. It doesn't even have to be, in, it's, it could just be vlogging. It could be just so many things. Endless, endless right here with group number two. Whatever that heart is in your heart, whatever you're passionate about, we have strength, okay? You're, you're being, you are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong, a positive outcome is ensured. So listen, I know that it's out there. I know that it's different. I know that it's weird as hell, but spirit is telling you, go for it, baby. Like you really, really got this. I feel like for some of my number twos, maybe you're so focused on wealth, so focused on securing the bag, it took the fun out of it. And I feel like you need to go back to the basics and just remember your why. You know, this was a way for you to express yourself. This is a way that brought you joy and happiness. And then the, the finances, the money will flow, okay? That's what I'm... um. That's what I'm feeling about you guys, okay? And it's very important that you honor your emotions, that you honor your truth, okay? <laughs> and I feel like it's time to take action. You have cups with emotions, you know, really sitting with those. But also, it's time to take um action. And when I say take action, I don't mean it's other areas in your life, you know, where... It's calling for you to pay attention to. And I feel like when you do that, or when you release that, it's going to open up the flow. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Because maybe you're so focused on this, you know, like trying to cultivate this or trying to make something happen, you know? And now, now I get why the energy of maybe you felt like you just, your time has passed and you can't do it now. That's a lie. That's what I'm hearing for you guys. For some of you, this could be in photography. This could be in so many forms, whatever creative passion. I feel like you're going to be, it's, it's going to work out is what spirit is saying. You're, it's going to happen is what I'm seeing for you guys. And um, even right here with this, of this um three of cups what i'm seeing for my um number twos don't worry i feel like luck follows you the universe is like wanting you to really <laughs> just throw yourself out there and jump in everything that you need to you as far as success and fortune will be provided you know this is this is just how how much spirit just wants you to get out of there <laughs> you know just really get out you know um in there and do that for some of my love muffins Right here with the three of cups, I feel like whatever current job or current situation that you're in, it's, it's you know, um, it's strenuous. It's, it's kind of like stressful and I'm feeling there's a need to put like the fun, put the element of fun back into something, okay? Do what you're passionate about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling because I feel like, you know, maybe for so long you haven't been willing to like follow this passion or maybe you're scared. Now you want to do it, but you're scared that it's not going to work out because maybe in the past that it failed. Spirit is saying, give it another shot. Keep giving it another shot. <laughs> Eventually it will manifest. I promise. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm picking up for my number twos. If you're like, wait, Tori, this is just too out there for me because it could probably be a small amount that's resonating. Definitely look at another one of the pals, but that's what I'm getting right here with these number twos. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. I did pick up that number one energy. So if this is not resonating with you, definitely want to try number one or just listen to your intuition, okay? Or if not at all, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. And we're going to go ahead and move to number three. All right. My pick number threes. And here we go. Taking a look at your career and finance guidance. Also, what it is that you need to do to secure the bag in 2020. Here is your blueprint to my beautiful rose quartz. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel like this soft energy right now. And um, <laughs> um, I really feel like when it comes to your career and finances and even like honoring your life purpose, there is a lot going on for you in 2020. Um, I really feel like this is the age of you coming out of your shell, really opening up, really finding that boldness deep within yourself. <laughs> okay. And I just feel like, you know, you're like a heart is blooming. It's so soft. It's so mellow. And I feel like, you know, in, in, um, 2020, like you are literally my love just going to like blossom into this beautiful flower in general. And also, this is going to take root in your career and finances, okay? So what we're going to do is right here is the energy that spirit needs you to embody in 2020 in this very moment to really secure the bag and really get the most and cultivate 
that wealth and luxury, okay, that has brought you here to this video. Right here is what is needed of you. This is the blueprint. This is the door. Well, actually, we're going to pull a door, but this is what's needed from you. Like, you have to do this. This is what's needed from you, okay? My rose quartz, and that is, not going to butcher her name, but leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desires in action. Listen, listen to that beautiful heart. I feel like you are really opening up and unraveling your horizons. I feel like there's a great spiritual awakening happening to you inside on a career level. Like, you know what? I can do anything. I can have anything. I can be anything. And I see you just like trusting the universe and like leaping into the divine's arms. That's what I'm feeling with this pal right here, okay? Like a little, like a little soft little cookie, like a, a wallflower coming out of this shell, male or female. Oh my God, this energy is so sweet, so kind, so gentle. Um, and I feel like what I'm seeing in that energy, you've, you played it safe when it comes to career wise. And I feel like in 2020, spirit is asking you to take those leap of faith and you're going to be taking those leap of faith in 2020. Okay, so you're, you're asking like to ramp it up, honey. Be bold. Take up space, you know, in your be beautiful little um, self. You know, you don't have to change yourself, but, you know, just really trust, okay? Take a risk. Put your heart's truest desires into action. I feel like, you know, you might have a, um, when it comes to career, you might play it safe. But there is this part of you that just really wants to go big or go home. And Spirit is saying really just, um, you know, jump into that go big and go bigger kind of energy is what I'm seeing for my rose quartz, okay? My number threes. If I called you number twos, I apologize, <laughs> okay? But I feel like that even happened for a reason. You've, you've, really, you've really concealed something. You're very humble. And I'm hearing it's time to get unhumble. And I know we're taught not to do that, but that's something that we, like, you know more than you give yourself credit for. You you know, know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's a lot more to this, and I feel like you're really not, you know, like, allowing yourself to really be who you are at your core. It's time for you to embrace your magic. You know, it's time for you to realize that you're unique and you're amazing, and don't be afraid of that, and don't be ashamed of that, and take the risk, and really honor your heart, okay? And I see you doing that in 2020, and that's the blueprint to really secure the path. So what we're gonna do right now, my love, is we're gonna bring these cards in and just see what it is that you need to surrender to. What do you need to give up? What do you need to let go? Okay, to really um, secure the bag in 2020 and also, you know, experience financial freedom. Okay, surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Yes, my number threes, my rose quartz. I feel like you scale yourself down. Okay. You're afraid of success. You're afraid of really putting yourself out there. Your root chakra, not root chakra, but your, it's affecting your root chakra, but it's really formed from your sacral chakra, which is, you know, I feel like there's a burst for your inner child wanting to come out, wanting to play, wanting to do something. You know, <laughs> we also have surrender to spirit and look at this surrender to the magic of who you are. This is what's really needed for you when you give these things up success. You know, you're going to be giving these things up. I want to talk to you like in already form because that's something that you need to do. You know, be already in it. This is what you're giving up in 2020 that's going to unlock the doors of mystic and magic and financial freedom and wealth, okay? And it's also going to help you embrace yourself, embrace your softness, embrace who you are, embrace that angelic flow. You have such a beautiful energy, okay? And it's so beautiful, but I really fear, like I'm really, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, you really quiet down, but that's not who you really are. You're really this horse right here wanting to be set free, but you've like controlled yourself. So I feel like it's a fake mask. It's a facade and spirit is asking you to surrender that. We all have magic in us, even in the, oh my God, messed that word up, <laughs> basically like you know, the difference of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that um, 
that comes from just being you, okay? Surrender fear. Let go of the fear and the stories that you told yourself. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into exciting new worlds of possibilities and surrender to spirit. Remember I told you I see you just jumping into the divine's arms and you know just taking that leap of faith here. Once you've done everything you can do to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you you i'm hearing like there's a need of fear is so potent right now in this energy scared so much magic in you scared to release it clarify fear why is this why is fear here why what is this and i feel like from childhood maybe you were shut down and closed down you need to really work on your sacral shocker your inner child is what i'm here yes yeah, surrender to defensiveness i feel like you're scared to be yourself because you're going to feel like you're going to be judged you're scared to do what you want to do because you feel like you're going to be judged for some of you even what you want to do maybe even going something magic something not everybody was spiritual like this this fear is like fear freaking grips you it says defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate so i feel like avoiding defensiveness or avoiding avoiding like opinions you you hide yourself or you hide like you hide something and i'm hearing like and i feel like even though this is a career in finance we have to deal with this first so you can really open up because until you are who you are at your core you're going to get in careers and things that really don't serve you because you're not being your authentic self you know and I did this. I did this with my spiritual path. I did this within myself. I did this within, you know, hiding my body when I don't like clothes and I love to be naked. But, you know, I put stuff on because, you know, they say we shouldn't be doing that. And I had to say and do what I wanted to do. And I feel like at some point in your life, you got to say, I don't care who you are. Throw it up and fuck the opinions. Fuck everybody. And just really honor yourself and honor what you honor yourself. And then in turn, you're going to honor what it is that you want to do. You're going to honor the true career path that is for you that is really going to secure the bag in 2020 is what I'm seeing. And also surrender denial, okay? Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. I'm feeling like someone has suppressed who they are to the core. Oh God, that fear, that I don't know what that energy is, but it's like, The, like this, this not resonating with everybody, but that fear of just of being who you are at your core, it's kind of like, you know, hiding who you are. Say, just, just, I'll give an example so we can see like, like if your sexuality, you know, if you were really gay or a lesbian, but you know, you don't want to be that because you know, it's not accepted. So you're hiding everything and doing every, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not really honoring your true path. And I feel like there's a need for you to really surrender to the magic of who you are so you can honor your true path in every aspect in life, okay? So <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. I know that was intense, okay? I know that um, was a lot, but I'm feeling like this freaking, that fear is just like really, fear has controlled your life. It has controlled who you are. It has controlled your success. It has controlled your career. It has controlled just everything. And I, and you know, and for some, I just feel like there's this defensiveness that maybe you have come, you know, and really um, live in an ego and not from the negative state, but more so the state of, you know, just, just scared, just scared of failure, scared of success, scared of messing up, scared of not messing up. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, you know, okay. And I'm hearing that, you know, there needs to be a, a leap. It needs to be, um, you, 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 you have to get rid of fear. You have to start taking these leaps of faith so you can stand up to fear because you are such a beautiful soul. You are such an amazing person. And, but that, that fear is around you and it's, it's a nasty, you know what I'm saying? It's a nasty energy. Like it's, 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 it's almost terrifying, but I, how you beat fear is whatever you're scared of, do it. Like I was scared of how, like, I would look at a two piece being like 300 pounds or we're a two piece <laughs> when I was 300 pounds, you know, I was scared of anytime I'm scared to like do something like when I lost all this weight. Okay. And like, I wanted to do like a, a nude photo shoot on my life. I was like, no, I can't do that. You know, cause you know, for whatever reason I made up, I did it. And when you start doing things that you're scared of, that's how you're going to beat fear. <laughs> There's no other way. That's how you shock the fuck out of fear. You got to just do it. If you're, you know, you want to do something career wise, go for it. You want to express yourself, go for it. You just have to do it.
kind of how that phone just rung in the middle of our session. You just got to do it. <laughs> okay. So now my loves, what I want to take a look at is, you know, what door does spirit need you to walk through? Okay. To really open up to the energy and frequency of the finances you desire. So we have sunset. Time here turns to release and un unfurl old cords of pain. Fade as the sun light burns. So I feel like um, what I'm seeing here is it's time to go away from some things. And these things are these beliefs that you have about how you can create financial freedom, what you need to be doing, and really opening up and letting the sun set on your magic and who you are as a person and really stand in your truth. Okay. That's what I'm seeing because we have, once you do this, we have offerings, abundance lies in the heart that allows, um, it said allows, shares more than expected and sees love come around. So I feel like when you do that, okay, I feel like the more that you do that, the more that you open up and, and share yourself. That's what the door spirit needs you to walk through, to share yourself. Because I feel like that's going to be a form of offering, okay? You're going to be rewarded for that. I apologize about any noise that you hear in the background, <laughs> okay? All right. And I'm, I'm just saying, like, also, this door is, like, really sticking to me. I feel like it's time to come out of an old way. It's time to come out of hiding. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. And when you do that, look at that. Oh my God. Look what's on the bottom of this. We're going to pull some more, but look, it says one enchanted evening, the perfect night. The time is now for you. The time is now. And it says healing heart. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace. Let light embrace the healing heart. Maybe you've tried something, you know, or you try to express yourself. Or in your career, we're going to keep a career in finances, but I feel like that's coming up too, where, you know, it didn't work. I'm hearing in 2020, Spirit is saying, allow that to be the past and, and just rip just really walk through, come out of that. And there's a new, there's a new sunset for you. The dawn, you know, the, the dawn has, has, has come alive. <laughs> the night is over and now we're coming into the sunlight and you're being asked to share yourself. The more that you share yourself in 2020, share your gifts, share your wisdom, open up offering what it is that the divine is placing in your heart. And those are the things I'm really feeling like share yourself, be willing to, to really, um, expand when it comes to your career and your soul purpose. And I feel like this is going to really secure the bag for you in 2020. We have one enchanted evening. I'm giving like that Cinderella vibe, male or female, like you and remember like that timid soft and the princess is always the good one. And she's put in all this effort and all this work. And then she just never gets what she, what she wanted. And she's so unappreciated, but then she just, you know, Something happens and the story turns around and it's just like everything. I feel like that's what's going to happen for you in 2020 is what spirit is showing me. Okay. But it's going to ask you to really turn into the element of fire. It's time for you to light, light that bridge on fire and let the flame guide you. It's time for you to look away from the past. Burn that bridge. Burn it, burn it, burn it. <laughs> okay. Born the burn the ordinary and come into extraordinary is what I'm hearing for my um hearing from my number threes and we have healing true healing of the mind body and soul when you do that this is what you're coming into which is really going to open you up sorry about the glare guys really going to and what what is that going to do time to shine create okay the energy okay the resonates of golden opportunity. This is what's going to open up for you by you just really being yourself, honoring what it is that you want to do, putting everything out your mind. Like, okay, yeah, you got, you know, like, I feel like somebody like, I don't know if you're carrying somebody or just making an excuse of why you have to particularly do this, be here, but I'm hearing like, no, you don't. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing for you guys. It's time for you to really allow yourself to be you. It's time for you to express. It's time for you to, you know, um, in 2020, we're really coming in the wave of, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Where it's not about just working. It's not about, you know, it's, you have to follow your passion. You understand me? You're here watching tarot. So to a certain extent on a spiritual level, something in you telling you, this is a, this is a bigger thing. This is bigger than me. This is, this is, this is huge. Okay. And, um, it's time for you to come into that reality. Okay. And take that leap of faith. Okay. I just feel like you let your fears of failure or even success just get to you. So this is what spirit needs you to um, walk through. And I just feel like, you know, you're some of some of my some of my number threes. You're the kind of person like, yeah, that ain't going to work. Yeah, I hear what she's saying. Or you're just watching something like, oh, God, OK. You know, you for some of my number three, it's not all, but you kind of lost that hope. OK, but you need to believe in fairy tales again and you need to believe in fairy tales when it comes to your career, whatever it is that you desire. It's all about honoring your heart, honoring your passion and your truth. That is the path. But first, you must honor you. First, you must open up to the magic that is inside of you. <laughs> OK, so now we're going to go ahead and place all of your cards down. OK, all right. My pick number three is all of my beautiful love muffins that picked this beautiful rose court. Here is your, <laughs> all right, blueprint for 2020 and career in finance, how to really secure the bag, all right, and really tap into all of the abundance that 2020 has for you because there is so much abundance in 2020. Overall, um, I feel like in every aspect of your life right here, 2020 is going to be major for my rose courts and my number threes. The reason why I say that is because it's, like um, three to me is my favorite number. It's the number of creativity. It's the number of the Holy Trinity. It's the number for me, three of an awakening. And I feel like this is what my number threes, my rose courts are going. It's going on for you right now. Please, for, please forgive me, guys, if I'm a little nervous. This energy is very like I had to start this <laughs> particular session like two times. My energy is like so off the ground. Um, with nerves because if you chose this pal I'm, I'm not going to lie to you I'm going to keep it 100 and honest to you and listen to my voice okay so many people ask me how is it that I obtain the success that I have how am I able to have the revenue and the money you know just to do whatever it is that I want to do and I always kind of like, especially if it's a person that's not like paying me, <laughs> because like when you're paying something, you're investing, honey, you are, you're here for it, you know? But when people ask me, what is it that I do? How did I, how did I come into Tori right now? How did I come into Guided Intuition? How did I come into my Self Love Academy? How did I come into these things? And the number one thing that I tell you, if you want success, if you want financial freedom, if you want love in its highest form in a person within yourself, in your career, in every aspect of your life, the first thing that you must do is look at you. The first thing that you must do is heal, start to heal those wounds inside of you, start to stand up to your fears, start to um, liberate yourself by honoring your truth. Those are truly the ways that you call in success. OK, but sometimes people don't want to hear that <laughs> because at one point in my life, I didn't want to hear that shit. I wasn't ready to hear it. However, there came a point in time in my life where I hit rock bottom, honey. I didn't have two dollars to rub together. And you know what? I was just ready. I was like, whatever comes, comes. OK, so I want to tell the people who picked this particular pal, your way to financial freedom is going to be your healing. Your way to financial freedom and really securing that bag in 2020 depends on you gaining a relationship with your intuition. Over here, we have some Oracle cards that I picked over here, too. I, I didn't start this first on the first pals, but I want to do it here. It is very important for you guys right here to really come into relationship with your intuition. Your intuition is the person or the, the spirit, whatever it is you identify that voice with that tells you to do something, 
but you're nervous about it so you don't do it and later you end up regretting it. <laughs> you know that the pit in your stomach, honey, that talks to you, this feeling that you can't shake, you want it. Sometimes you want to go, but you're so nervous and then sometimes you do it and you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy I went that way. I'm so happy that I listened to that voice. It is important that you define the relationship with yourself, Okay. Very important that you turn into your intuition because your intuition is going to guide you. It's time for you to trust the nigel. What is the nigeling feeling trying to tell you? Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition and spirit is pointing you in a direction, all right? But I feel like you have to begin to trust yourself. You have to begin to stand in your truth and honor you and build the confidence within you. How I did that is via meditation, affirmations, okay? Reading inspirational books, going to seminar, doing seminars. It's, I mean, YouTube is endless here. Do you hear me? You just have to go. That's what... Um, is really going to help my number threes really excel because where you're going, what you're being asked to do, the places you're being asked to go, the things you're being asked to start. Okay. It's going to take you to have confidence. It's going to take you, um, to know yourself. It's going to take you to build a relationship with you. Okay. So these tarot cards right here, um, I ask spirit, what is it? that the people that are going to pickles, <laughs> the people that are going to be picking this particular pile, what are they passionate about on a soul level? Because in 2020, it's all about following your passion. Okay. That is your alignment. That is your path. So everything that is meant for you, meaning success, meaning financial freedom, everything is going to find you on this path. Okay. And this is what you have to do. Also, what Spirit is just telling me right now for my number three, it's very important. I brought this book into um, pile number one and I want to show you guys what I do. It's very important that you start to find things in your life to be happy about. Keep a gratitude journal and just each day for this rest of this whole year. OK, or just start with, you know, for the, the this whole month. OK, for a month, for 30 days, 21 days. OK. I want you to write 10 things in the morning that you're grateful for. And each day pick 10 different things. It can be, I'm grateful for water. I'm grateful for my toothbrush. I'm grateful for my pillows. And it can be things that you haven't even acquired yet. I'm grateful for my $2 million business or monthly income basis. I don't know, whatever it is. I'm grateful for my dance studio. I'm grateful for my school, for learning. I don't really know. I'm grateful for my license in Reiki healing. I'm grateful for my YouTube channel, I'm grateful for my book deal, whatever it is, I'm grateful for my, my bachelor's or master's because for this group, I see you going to school, okay? Going back to school, even for some of you are already in there, Spirit is saying keep going. Some of you, it's a thought in your mind. For some of you, it's not even a thought in your mind, but that's gonna be a path for you. It's all about going back to that passion. What really makes your heart sing? OK, and for a lot of you, I see you going back to school of some sort, getting some kind of training. It could be a big university. It could be a community college. It could be like an online course. It could be it's some kind of school that you're going to be getting training from. OK. You're going to go back and get training of, of some craft, something that you're passionate about. Um, for my number threes, that's what I'm seeing for some of you guys. So right here is what you're passionate about on a soul level. Okay. And then, um, right up here, I went ahead. We have relationships. So this is the book that I was talking about. Okay. I had to go get one that I haven't wrote in yet, but this is called the law of attraction planner, a 30 day um, journey, creating your dream life. Okay. And in this book, okay. I use one every month. This is the one of the ways that I manifest and I was able to cultivate a life that I truly love, that I truly enjoy. And I really feel that it's going to be beneficial for you. Number three, you can get this, um, via the website. Okay. Um, 30 day law of attraction planner, put it in. I'm telling you, it's going to come right up, <laughs> but also here's the website guys, but also you can get it from Amazon. Just type in the law of attraction planner. It's going to come up. And in this, it, it tracks you for 30 days. Okay. If you don't want to buy a book each and every month, 12 of these books, you can get this book and get the pin that, um, you know, erases. But when you put this in the microwave at the end of the 30 days, all of this, I think for like, they'll tell you how many seconds to do. They say it on the website. Um, all this will go away. And it really does work, okay? But you know, me right here, Miss Prissy, I like to get some um 
I'm very particular about things. <laughs> so I like to do it on a month to month basis, get a new book. But you don't have to do it this way. But each day, okay, like it has today's goal, it has goals. And when you first um, get this book, there's a training and questions and statements and um, life like statements that they're going to ask you and creating a, a phrase and just making sure that you have said your affirmations and, you know, wrote some, um, you know, what am I grateful for today? How am I feeling when you first wake up in the morning at night? Okay. Ideas I noted, um, on my mind, what did not happen today and why, how can I improve tomorrow? Positive habits to create today's do list. What will I do to feel good today? Okay. Affirmations for today. Quote of the day, like victories, um, victories today. What did I learn today? How did I love myself today? How did I love and give today? What am I grateful for? Like even those things, just reading that, putting yourself in these energy, you're going to improve your life and it tracks you, you know, and then it just has questions. Um, where are they at? Is it up here? Yeah, like set rewards if you achieve your goals, okay? Choose five top goals from what you have listed that you want to achieve in one year. Like it's gonna map you out and it's so beautiful. And it tells you, it says law of attraction roadmap, okay? It lets you know, enjoy the journey, feel good, get in a positive state, okay? Daily gratitude, daily priorities, daily visualization, daily reflection, um, think of paper, declutter your mind, get more inner peace. Like you follow this each day, making sure that you do these things and it's really going to improve your life. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> Okay, and Spirit asked me to share that with you. So I really feel that it's going to be beneficial for you to really secure the back in 2020, to really help you build on your confidence, for you to really come out of the box and out of the norm and go after what it is that you want, okay? Because I really feel for the beautiful souls that picked um, um, number three, for whatever reason, I keep seeing the number two, 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 two. I feel like, for some of you, I feel like you've put like your passions and what it is that you want for your life and relationships, <laughs> it don't matter, all around the board, it's played second fiddle. And in 2020, Spirit is saying, put it back in number one. You get what I'm saying? Put it back in first place. We also have relationships, okay, right here with the sacral chakra. We have forgiveness with the heart. Um, I'm not, your solar plex didn't come up, but on an intuitive level, I'm really seeing your solar plex. I feel like any attention that you give to your solar plex or any of these colors right here, being your um, sacral chakra, your heart chakra, and your third eye, also your throat chakra, and your solar plex dealing with your confidence, and that's the yellow. Any fruits or vegetables that you eat to that category, any affirmations that you um, do, yoga that you do to any of these chakras, mantras, is really going to help you um, open these things up. I feel like my number threes, your confidence is very, it's very vital and important in 2020. So whatever you got to do to really be a more better person, more confident in yourself, to walk in a room, to know who you are, to know your worth, be it exercising, eating different, moving away from unhealthy relationships, forgiving yourself for failures, believing in yourself, coming out of your cocoon, speaking your truth, communicating your truth to family, because family, something with family is coming up for somebody. I just feel like it's time to really, um, you know, really... Maybe you always put your family first or maybe some way, some kind of family dynamic is always like why you don't move forward and do the things that you truly want to do. I don't know. I'm hearing like expectations. I'm hearing let that shit go. Okay. <laughs> we're not bringing that in 2020 and we're truly going to flow from our heart or your expectations is just what people may think if you really honor your path. Okay. But I feel like it, it's truly time. It's time for you. Um, and, and the more that you work on yourself and your solar plex, these areas right here, your heart is going to open up. You're going to like liberate yourself in your truth. Okay. Communicating your truth. I think it's time for you guys to, you know, just really sit with yourself and ask yourself, what do I want out of life? 
What what legacy do I want to live? How you know what it is what it is that I want to do? What do I want to do? Is a question that spirit is asking you. Now, as far as what are you passionate about on the soul level? We have the chariot, we have the ace of pentacles, okay, reverse. We have the page of pentacles upright. We have the 10 of pentacles upright and we have the 8 of pentacles upright. Now, when I see the chariot, I always see forward movement, forward for forward onward, okay? <laughs> I see action. And right next to it is the Ace of Pentacles. And I love the way that um, this particular deck describes the Ace of Pentacles, okay? It says, each Ace card represents the idea of. Pentacles are the suit of earth, finances, career, and the material. The Ace is the first of its suit and is the beginning. Sometimes it can mean that these themes are being introduced into your life, particularly out of all the ace cards. The pentacles carries an abundant positivity. It can show up in your life as a new business venture, a movement toward pro- movement towards prosperity or a career shift. OK, so there is something that you have to act on. This is what you're sitting with. And I think I just did the power before. It's crazy. This card came out and I said, stardom, owning something like, like big wealth, big fame, big, really big known in this, in this, look at the fruit, look at the fruit. Let's turn this around really quick. Hope I don't mess this up guys. Okay. (laughs) There we go. Look at this. Look at this fruit. This is what is sitting inside of you that is asking to be birthed. Are you going to trust your intuition? Are you going to trust yourself? We, we fresh in this thing. Okay. We three days deep. Cause I think by the time you guys post this, it'd be the second day or the third day that you get this the second day of January. Yeah. January or the, um, third, one of the two, <laughs> but we're going to be three or two days deep into this. Okay. And for everybody that sees it after, it doesn't matter when you see it. And for some of you, I just feel like there's going to be, a, if you listen now, in the midst of July, there's going to be big success for you. Humongous success for you. Okay? So I really feel like it's time to take action. Okay? It's time. It's time. Whatever career you're at, if that's not what it is that you really want, it's something else. You know, if it's the bare minimal, it's just getting you by. If it's just paying the bills, but it's not passionate. Listen, you can't make money and follow your passion. All right? Your team, spirit, the divine, God, Allah, whatever it is you believe in, baby, are backing you up. Okay? But it's time to take action. And I feel like for some of you, school, the answer that you're seeking involves going back to school. Okay? These are some of the things right here. We also have family. Loving your family. It says loving your friends and family is the center of your, your life purpose. I feel like, listen, for some of you that desire love, that desire your family, you're going to get that relationship right here with relationships creating something new. You're going to get that when you honor your path. But right now, I feel like right now it's important in 2020 for you to get this stability, male or female. And for some of you, I'm seeing like maybe remember I said your family is a, a, a factor of why you're not moving forward. Listen, you can love your family and honor yourself. Eventually, they're going to get on board with what's going on. I promise you. For some of you, like I said, I've seen Reiki healing, energy healing, your natural, um, your natural energy healing ability are an important part of your life life purpose and for some of you I feel like you're going to be counseling families or something something of that nature but we also have study education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career so just really getting clear studying what do you, what it is that you want to do for some of you we have creative expression your soul longs to express itself creatively there are so many paths that you guys can really take it says trust Trust your feelings and dreams. Guide, um, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your um, career path. If you don't know what it is that you desire, what does your, you know, what do you dream about? You might feel like it's too big or it's too risque or it's not accompl- accomplishable, whatever that word is. You can't accomplish it. You know what I mean? <laughs> not even going to try to say it. You may feel like you can't do it, but you can. And we have freedom. You're free to do what you choose. You can. Okay, 
And the more that you go within yourself, the more that you love you, the more that you start to listen to your intuition, the more that you strip away the illusions, the more that you're going to know what it is that you want. Okay. It's time for you to choose you in 2020. For number three, my rose course, that's the, that's the thing I'm feeling so potent, potently. It's time for you to choose you in 2020. Okay. And go ahead because until you do, you're going to keep getting the page of pentacles. The page is a pentacle, but it's the bare minimal. Okay. And, um, I, I love the way this page of pentacles, you know, um, right here. And maybe going back to school and, and doing the hard work, it's not necessary. Like, like maybe you feel like it's not necessary or it's like, it's not fun, <laughs> but listen, it's, it might not be fun, but it's necessary because it says you have been given a bit of responsibility, but are having too much fun to apply it. Have you even given a little kid a dollar? They get so, have you ever given a little kid a dollar? They get so excited, but don't really have the financial con concept of what it is. This kind of, this is kind of like the page. You can certainly rely on them to be creative, but not necessarily reliable. It's time to find that, um, balance within yourself. I feel like for some of you, maybe you know what it is that you want to do. You get so excited about the vision and actually, you know, like planning and seeing it but when it comes into put that hard work that dedication or when you gotta like put the man hours or the woman hours in it's kind of like draining <laughs> you know maybe you're excited about school you're excited about doing something new you're excited about going this way but you actually look at like the journey like the mountains that you might have to climb and you get discouraged before you know you're not doing it okay and I really feel um spirit is saying just do it okay Transcend, transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. This is how you acquire this wealth. You have all pentacles here, major manifestation, major stability, but it's all about grounding it. All right. You have the eight of pentacles. It's all about work. It's time to do the work. Baby, that work is on yourself. That work is the law of attraction. That work is your affirmations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the work. That's the work for us, us kind of peoples. <laughs> That's what I want to tell you. You know, healing yourself, doing that in a work, honey. Looking at those demons, dealing with those addictions, <laughs> you know, beating that procrastination. That's the work. That's how you're going to come into this great awake, um, awakening. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change because you're, you're a great awakening happening, guy. A great awakening happening to my number threes right here. Major heart transformation here. And Lakshmi, you know, that's the goddess that wanted to be a part of this um, career path. So I'm telling you, Lakshmi is a goddess of goddess of luxury of its finest. Okay. But one of the things that I realized my sister, and even with me wanting to do this, um, you know, have working with Lakshmi to really give this career guidance to the beautiful souls that are meant to see this. Okay. This is, this is not meant for everybody. This is meant to the ones that are called to this. Like, you know, you resonated on this on a soul level. You are destined for financial freedom and prosperity and abundance in 2020, not later in the now. But when you work with Lakshmi, though, even when I did this reading, I couldn't put everything on the table. Like I had to clear my space. I had to sage. I had to set. I had to fast my body. <laughs> you know, I fasted for, um, I think, either one or two days. All right. Um, there was some work that I had to do, you know, to get in. Sorry, guys. He hit the, keep hitting the camera to really like get into this. So yes, there is some work. There are some man hours, woman hours that you're going to have to put into this, but it is going to be well worth it. All right. Because you are going to transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly, truly shine. You're going to move away from that right now. And look, we have the sun and spirit. A new dawn is here for you. Okay. Your transformation is all in the spiritual realm. So working with the law of attraction. OK, as a man thinking, so is he as a woman thinking, so is she. I don't care what you believe on on a spiritual level. There is some form that tells you you reap what you sow or whatever, whatever you put in, whatever you think, whatever you feel, that's what that's going to come to you. 
something spirit wants you to know in 2020, how you, how you obtain that wealth, how you get that ace of pentacles is all spiritual. Okay. And we also have psychic. I feel like your, your, um, your third eye is opening your intuition. You're going to be, um, bringing that duality together. Um, I feel like there's a major, major shift in spirituality for you. Yeah. Transmute. <laughs> uh, you're shedding, shedding the old of what no longer you're breaking through. Okay. And that can be a little scary, but I promise you whatever endings happening in any kind of relationships and family, whatever. And even if you went through that in 2019, that has truly prepared you for this very moment right here, because it's time to create, you see that blueprint, that plan with spirit that, you know, her by herself, male or female creation. It's time. It's time to create. All right. And I feel like when you do this, when you just get to going, when you get to starting, when you get to honoring yourself, this is when that peace that surpasses all understanding is going to come. And this is when that balance. OK, that's when everything's going to come into balance, even in your um, your um, your finances. We also have gratitude lists. I feel like making a gratitude list, like I told you about your it says. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe because you are, des you are deserving, deserving this. You are a lovable child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels okay can see how amazing you truly are that's what I'm seeing for you guys also we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious <laughs> you know um I feel like when you begin to really honor yourself. Life is just going to get so much easier. It's just going to like life wants to play with you. My pick number threes. It really wants to show you the luxuries. It really wants to show you a good time. Okay. The universe is asking you and you know, in 2020 to play with me when it comes to your career, you know, it's asking you to break the chain. Okay. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future, moving away, coming out of a dark night, the soul and really emerging into the light. You see this beautiful soul, the phases that she had to shed male or female. You did that. And spirit is saying you deserve this in 2020. Okay. And it's all about setting your boundaries. And as I said that my little, my little pin thing dropped. So I really feel like it's important for you to set your boundaries. What do you need to establish better boundaries about people, relationships? Okay. Communicating your truth. All these hands gripping and grabbing at you. What do you need to say no to so you can say yes to yourself is what I'm hearing. And trust your intuition. Okay? And when you do this, my love, so much beauty is going to unfold. But it begins with you. And I know it's like, how, how what the hell does it have to do with me getting financial freedom? But I promise you, listen to your intuition. Okay? Like I told you, I asked the divine, whoever comes across this, this video, I asked Lakshmi, you know, prepare, prepared myself, <laughs> didn't eat honey, <laughs> you know, for whoever really comes to this video, let this, let them walk away with this guidance and let their life never be the same for the greater, for the better. In 2020 or whenever they watch this particular reading, show them who they really are. Take them beyond their wildest dreams. And I need you to know for my number threes, that is you, you deserve it. Okay. Be bold, be courageous to go after it in 2020. I love you guys. I hope that this has resonated and brought you some truth, some clarity. It was such an honor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all those social media things. I'm friendly and I will catch you on my channel. We're going to go ahead and go to the last pal, which is number four. All right. My last, but never least. Okay. My pick for my Labrador. 
always mess with labyrinth, labyrinth, labyrinth. I don't know, but I will put the words on the screen for you, okay? <laughs> Honestly, guys, when I pick crystals, I always just go to the ones that call to me and then I grab that piece of paper and there we go. Like, I just let spirit lead me. But anyways, this was gifted to me by my mom. And for all of you beautiful souls that picked this gorgeous um, stone, this stone honestly wants to work with you um, in 2020 when it comes to career and finances and really securing the bag. To me, this is a stone that represents uniqueness, okay? Um, it's very different, it's very extraordinary, it's very out there. It's, it's different dimensions and different, different colors and all that is coming in and creating this beautiful masterpiece, okay? There's nothing plain Jane about this stone. Hence to you, my love, when it comes to your career and finances. So right here, this card that we have right here is going to be what spirit needs from you, the individual that is that is watching this video. This is what the energy that spirit needs you to embody in 2020 to really get all that the universe has for you when it comes to prosperity, all right, and financial freedom and really securing the bag. When you embody this energy, when you do whatever this card is asking you to do, this is really going to open up endless opportunities and endless doors, okay, that are for your greater. And what the universe needs from you, <laughs> the universe needs you to be bold, honey. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring, okay? So spirit needs you in 2020 to really embrace your uniqueness. All right, really embrace that creative mind. I see whoever is resonating with this with this pal. You're going to acquire wealth in different kind of ways. It's not going to be one pot. It's going to be several pots that you have your hand in in 2020, really creating that revenue that you desire, okay, and that lifestyle that you desire, just on an intuitive level. That I'm, I'm just feeling like whoever picked this um, pile, I feel like you're being called to like travel somewhere. I see you like traveling for work. Um, some of you guys. Okay. And, and even with traveling, moving from one, from one career to another, or, you know, one job to another is what I'm seeing. I see like a job change, uh, um, also like a, a space change for you. Okay. But whatever you do when it comes to your career and finances in 2020, be bold, go after that position that you want open, you know, um, that shop, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that it is that you're desiring, just be bold, start, unleash your adventurous side, be optimistic, take a risk and be daring. And you truly will see, okay, the revenue that you desire. So that's what I am getting, um, right here from this card, what spirit needs from you. What I want to take a look at before we actually see what door spirit needs you to walk through, okay? What do you need to be open-minded about? <laughs> All right, because this power, you're going to have to be open-minded. You got a unique, a unique zone, and I feel like you're very unique. You're very different, okay? And I feel like you're being called to be bold. Like, the sky is the limit. Like, what are you waiting on is what I'm hearing. Like, listen, the time is now. <laughs> the getting is getting. It's hot. <laughs> so go ahead. So what I want to do um, to really embody this energy and just to really get the wealth that um, is here for you in 2020, I want to go ahead and just pull some cards and see what is it that spirit needs you to surrender, okay, to really um, secure your bag in 2020 and whatever form or shape that is. All right. I'm really looking on the spiritual, emotional side. So when you're faced with, you know, moving forward, when you're faced with going in that interview, when you're faced with owning that room, owning that situation, owning that opportunity, you're going to know what to fall back on real loudly. Put those words in the back of your hat, your back, the back of your mind, the front of your mind on the side. Be bold. Take a risk. Put yourself out there. Be courageous. Go for it. OK, is what I'm hearing right now. I feel like you were a thinker in the past and that's good. Nothing wrong with thinking, but I'm here like you need to like really like jump into that fiery energy. <laughs> OK, and just really like act and think later. That's what you need to do. OK, because, yes, some risks may fall through, but there are going to be risks that you take in 2020 that are going to be that are really going to um, to pave the way and come and um, come through for you. So let's just see what you need to surrender to. OK, spirit, what do they need to surrender to? The beautiful souls that picked the last pal, what do they need to surrender to? 
okay, in 2020 to truly come into the wealth they desire, okay? So first card here. Let's see, what do they need to surrender to? What do you want them to know, Spirit? What do they need to surrender to? Okay. I'm getting a lot of fire, a fiery energy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pick one. It's like fiery, like so much feistiness coming from this pile. <laughs> okay, so much feistiness. And I feel like that feistiness is good. Okay, you're going to have to be bold. You're going to have to be bold in 2020 to really secure the bag. Like spirit is, because it, it's there for you. It's just going to require you to be bold, okay? So the first thing spirit wants you to know my love muffins that picked this pout is um, surrender to receiving support and love. It says, allow the love and support of others in. Rather than trying to handle everything yourself, it says, surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effective achieve, to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So what I'm seeing, what spirit needs for you to um, surrender, okay? Um, there, there's nothing wrong with being bold. There's nothing wrong with being independent, okay? Um, but you have to, for some of you, because where you're going and the opportunities are going to come your way, there are going to be some people that spirit bring to you to help you really achieve your goals in 2020, okay? But I feel like there's a sense of you not trusting people, you know what I'm saying? Like, to a certain extent, like, they might mess it up, okay? So I feel like, you know, instead of, like, trying to avoid that, you just take on a lot more than you should, you know what I'm saying? Or you like to, you know, like, you're afraid to, like, really trust somebody <laughs> to really get the job um, done. But what I'm, what I'm seeing um, is spirit is asking you to open up, okay? Open up to receiving support and love. Open up to receiving help because the doors that you're going to walk through to get to those places, there are people that have been strategically set in this place to help you build, to help you, you know, secure that foundation, to help you get into that place. But it's going to require you to trust. Trust is coming up here. Even if you're controlling the situation or people are not being open to receiving because in some past you've been let down and spirit is saying we can put that to rest. All right. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm hearing like let down, let down ego. It's okay. We all get an ego sometimes. We all get an ego. It's nothing to fret about. It's nothing to feel bad about. <laughs> but I feel like it comes from the lack of, you know, um, putting your trust in people and being disappointed. So you want to like, you know what? I'm not asking for nothing. I'm going to do it myself. I got this, you know, trying to control the situation because maybe you've put people in there to delegate and they didn't do a good job. Spirit is saying, don't worry about that. In 2020, there are going to be connections that come your way, but you got to be able to receive and opening up and being able to release, release the need to control people. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, you know, you're going to be you're going to be placed in, in higher places, some kind of position shift. Is what I'm seeing. Also, what's needed, okay, when you release that, when you come out of ego and you really open up, look what you're coming into. Surrender to your full power, okay? Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Listen, it's time. And we also have surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel, okay, and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So I'm hearing like you're really going to be coming out of your logic mind. Like I'm feeling like very heavy, like earth and fire energy. You don't have to be those signs, but th that those places are very high in your chart. And, um, you know, I feel like you're going to be coming into a balance because a part of you really wants to embrace your full power and part of you wants to embr em embrace the magic in life. OK, but there's this this logic side <laughs> and I feel like you're going to be stepping out of logic. And as I'm saying that, my throat chakra wants to tighten up on me. So you're going to be stepping out of logic and really coming into the realm of magic. OK, and embracing who you are as a person. And this is really going to um, help you when you do this. You're going, to, you're going to be open, okay, to taking risks because 
To take a risk, you have to believe in miracles. You have to believe in the unknown, okay? To be daring, you have to embrace your full power. You have to be confident about yourself. You have to know who you are, you know? To unleash your adventurous side, you have to be open to what the journey is gonna bring, the people and places, the things for you to see. And you're gonna have to surrender control of people and control in general, in, in general to really be open to the universe, okay? And I feel like this is what you're going to be surrendering in 2020, to really open up and secure the back all right my love so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look and see you know what door does spirit need you to walk through in 2020 it's funny look at this intuition because this door <laughs> was like yep yeah, pick me <laughs> all right and i don't know why but this door looks like it belongs in like india you know like that bali kind of like you see those parties, like very vibrant orange, Bali-like kind of door. And, you know, Buddha over there and all that good stuff. It says intuition. It says simple, complex. Sorry, guys. Words of pain or that heal. You come to know truth by the way it feels. Okay? So this is a door that spirit needs my number fours to walk through. Okay? To truly get all the financial freedom that is available to you. Intuition coming out of your logic and coming into the realm of spirit is what I'm hearing for you. Simple, complex words of pain or that heal. You come to know truth by the way you feel. You have to follow your intuition. Sorry guys, it's going out. It's blurry. And you know, and it's funny that it, the camera started to do that on this particular pile because I feel like that's something when you go to the realm of spirit, you get kind of like, it's, it's kind of, you know, I want to say like forbidden or just like unknown. Like you just, it's just, it's territory like unknown. You don't know. So it's just really blurry. It's very cloudy. So I feel like you're walking through the door of spirit in 2020 to really help your um, career and finances. Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to keep hitting it because it keeps doing that. So freaking sorry. Let's try to change the lights. Huh? I want to leave it here. Okay. So let's just see what else spirit wants you to know. Walking through the door of intuition, what is that going to bring to you? And what is that going to bring to them, spirit, in their career? Okay, we have healing, it's going to bring healing, true healing of the mind, body, and soul. It's going to bring healing to your finances. One enchanted evening, the perfect night. When I see this card, I always think about Cinderella. You know, at, you know when she transformed at midnight and went to the ball and she had a fairy godmother and everything was provided. We also have the star here. So walking through the door of intuition, we have the star. Okay, this is how you're going to get your finances healing. You know, the star card, ooh, it's like the healing and the star. After you heal, after you move forward, guess what happens? A blessing pours down. Okay, for my number fours, we have one enchanted evening, the perfect night. The time is now to make your dreams a reality. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energies. This is what's going on with you guys. This light is like, oh my God, <laughs> and not in a good way. Okay, <laughs> hopefully we're better. So listen, okay? Tapping into your intuition is going to bring you healing, going to bring you wish fulfillment, going to bring you the wisdom, all right, that you've been searching, you know, how to create, how to, how to move forward, okay? And this, I know only, this door is calling out to me right here. Because I feel like my number four is you're going to have to go on unknown territory. And it says divine guardian. Don't be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely on. Um, so sorry about the light, guys. This card is also standing out to me, guys. Okay. It says a moment of joy. This door right here. Purification is what I'm seeing. And it says sand through the hourglass. Yet time could stand, st stand still. A moment lasts forever and the bliss of the heart's will. Okay. So listen. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully this light is better. All right. And you know what? That's funny. Maybe you guys are going to have to shift your careers around, move some things around, you know, try a couple of things before you actually find the thing, you know, that works for you, that, that brings you the joy that you're seeking. Okay. I'm hearing, don't give up. Keep going. 
that's what I'm hearing. And I really feel like the more that you strengthen your relationship with your intuition, the more that you're going to be able to do that and walk through these door, you know, of intuition that's going to lead to your healing, going to lead to your wish fulfillment, going to lead for you, you know, getting the wisdom, gaining the wisdom to move forward. Okay. To really be doing what it is that you desire, what it is that you are what it is that you're in love with, okay? So now, my loves, we're gonna go ahead and put up, bring out all the cards, and I'm going to read them to you and see what it is or what is your blueprint for 2020 when it comes to your career and finances and securing the bag in 2020. Okay, to the beautiful souls that picked this beautiful stone right here, here is your 2020 career and finance blue print okay this is how you secure the bag in 2020 now i kind of stated this in the beginning okay and i really want to state this to the beautiful souls that picked this unique stone um in 2020 my loves it is really going to require you to have a open mind what i'm really feeling with my last pal is that you're really going to be shifting and coming into, I want to say your life purpose, even if you are flowing in your life purpose, what you feel like you came down here, your legacy. Okay. You are really going to be, I want to say skyrocketing or really kicking it up several notches several notches in 2020 but this is how you're going to really secure your bag this is how you're going to experience financial freedom hate it because in 2020 you are truly going to be connecting with your life purpose as you can see very clearly we have healer healer um i really feel if you resonate with this pal you're a light worker an indigo um, a star seed, <laughs> whatever way you want to define it, an empath. Oh my God, as I'm saying this, my throat chakra wants to close up on me. <clears throat> Let me get some water, guys. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this pal, I'm really radiating a healing energy. Whatever you are doing, no matter what you're doing, a greater part of your purpose and how you're really going to acquire this success and financial freedom is by you really getting... I want to say really flowing. So I'm going to stop footing around it because I'm trying to keep this open. I'm trying to keep this general, but spirit is asking you to go a, a, a certain direction. You're a healer. Okay. In some form, you are a light. Okay. And you came to this world to set fire, to blaze and to be the lighthouse. Okay. And I feel like how you're going to spirit is saying how you're going to bring that wealth to you is by you actively flowing in your purpose of some healer of some sort of some sort. Healers can come in different forms, different, sh different shapes, different careers, different paths. I mean, you could be an intuitive healer. You can be, this is healing work. You can be in terror. You can be motivational speaking. You can just be healing, helping people, children, working, um, you know, spreading your wisdom, a doctor. It doesn't matter. Lawyer, helping the injustice. It doesn't matter. But whatever you are doing, as long as you are flowing in your active gift of healing, OK, whatever you're bringing, if you're bringing healing forth, you're going to see the financial stability that you desire. But I'm not going to lie to you. This group, you're being asked to come out of your comfort zone. You're being asked to throw caution to the wind. You're being asked to a go to a direction in 2020 when it comes to your career and finances that does not look like the norm. The norm. You're being asked to really step into this full energy right here. OK. And we all know what this full card represents here. And you're the only group that I pulled six cards wanted to come out. We have the hermit. And I want to read this to you guys really quick. It says, only when we are completely immersed in ourselves that we unquestionably identify our forthcoming legacy. See social pressures as what they are, others insecurities and distractions. There is nothing wrong with being alone. OK, in a world that naturally that um, that naturally tells us to have codependent relationships, it can be challenging to se be separated. It is in this precious solitude that you can figure out the moves you intend to take. We also have the tower here. OK, and then we have the world card, which signifies a beginning, but also an ending. I really feel like. If you, you will be actively 
switching a career and really flowing into the, the realm of healing of some sort. Okay. Um, you're being asked to really jump into the full card. I see like a reset, you know, um, but with this, with this healing, whatever you're doing, cause I feel like you've experienced a lot, you know, you've had a lot of tower moments in your life or even in 2019 that has really prepared you for 2020 to help people maneuver, to help people overcome, to help people, um, really do what it is that they love. Okay. Or be who they are at their core. We have the two of cups here. Um, I am really feeling healer vibes right here. Um, so if you know, you might want to pick another pile, but I'm going to go ahead and just listen to spirit and just address it as you are a healer. And I feel like in 2020, it's time for you to come out of the closet. It's time for you to really, um, take it up a notch, have courage here. We have earth guide. Um, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be light. You are a healer. You are a starlight. You are a light worker of, in many forms. And in 2020, to really um, secure the bag and experience financial freedom, it's time to you act to act upon your destiny or go farther in your destiny. Okay. And sometimes this path can be a lonely path. Um, but I do feel even if you are a healer already actively working, just keep going. All right. Continue to listen to the guidance that you're being given to be courageous to go to these new heights that you're going. But we have the two of cups here. It can be lonely. Okay. <laughs> but I really feel like spirit, spirit is saying, honor your heart's path, honor your soul path and love. Okay. will find you. This is the route of getting all of the things that you desire, love and money. We're talking about that right now. Look how that came up in here. Okay. But it is going to take you, you know, to, to move away from an old way of being and thinking and, and really come into the fool's energy right here. Okay. But that's what I'm feeling. Because when I, um, with these, with these cards right here, the tarot cards, I ask the question of spirit, what are they passionate about on a soul level? You're a healer. You're here to spread hope. You're here to get people excited, you know, about, you know, jumping into the unknown. <laughs> okay. And right here we have security, um, stability and security. We have relationships, decisions, personal power, universal energies, this is what um, a lot of you guys are going to be working in, you know, helping people. I'm hearing like a lot of law of, law of attraction are, are helping people figure out their wealth, their finances. I see careers like that, counseling relationships, helping people heal relationships, work through traumas. I feel like decis um, with decisions here, um, everything a wise woman once told me, because I'm a healer, duh, <laughs> and in order for me to be able to show people a way out and how to maneuver that I first will experience it myself. And I'm very much feeling that for this group. I feel like when it comes to your career, like when your finances, your relationships, you've probably had a lot of, you know, trauma or some shit happen to you. <laughs> but I feel like that serves a better, believe it or not, that that is a part of your purpose. It's a part of your journey. It's a part of your teaching and your wisdom. Okay. Um, I feel like you jumping into the full, okay? The career choice or really honoring your soul mission, honoring your soul purpose is really going to take a lot of courage you're here. It says, um, live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination because I feel like, um, you know, you're, you are a person that's very set, in your ways, you like structure and stability, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like the path that you are being asked to call is the full, is the unknown. When you lift this, when you lift this curtain of this blanket up, you know, I see this as a picnic blanket. You know, I think about a picnic being good, but at the same time, you know, you really don't know, okay? You really don't know what's under this blanket. You really don't know what's covering it. You know, this is just you listening to your intuition, taking a chance, okay, on the unknown. And I feel like you're being asked to do that, okay? You're really being asked to do that. Let's see what some of these oracle cards are saying to you guys. We also have, yes, yeah, stability. The earth element, stability. Um, I really feel like you're here to help ground people or like show people a way, you know, bring, bringing people back into balance. 
I don't know why we're going there, <laughs> like, but um, it's it like maybe d actually defining what your life purpose is or giving you a clue of, of, of where, of what, what you're going to be doing is what I'm seeing. But we have the earth element. We also have the fifth house, fifth house, um, dealing with creativity. And I feel like um, one of the things that you're going to have to give up um, to really get the all out of 2020 when it comes to your career and finances, my love, is I feel like you're a person that likes structure. You like to know the A, B, and C. And your creativity is asking you to play, okay? We don't know, we don't know what we're going to get, but you're being asked to take a chance. You're being asked to take a leap of faith. You're being asked to, you know, put yourself out there. Okay, and look at this card we have. <laughs> leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. You're not going to know everything, okay? That's not how it quite works. And I feel like um, you're being asked to take a chance take a chance and maybe you're used to structure you're used to you know that was one of my things of really coming into an entrepreneurship within myself because not everybody are meant to be entrepreneurs but I really feel like this group is um to a certain extent I, I really feel that that's not meant that's not for everybody you know I used to have this mentality of um you know I was comfortable with a nine to five because I knew what was going to come of it I knew at this week or two weeks from now, I was going to get paid. I was going to have this amount of X amount of X amount amount. And, you know, that's okay. However, it, limit, it limited me, you know. Um, and I feel like with this stability and security, your root chakra, working on your root chakra via affirmations, via um, mm, <laughs> meditating sorry guys um eating food foods that are in the rooty um, roots like drinking ginger tea or you know um tomatoes apples any fruits in the red family is really going to help you um break away from these beliefs of how you have to make money because i feel like there's a strong strong um belief system set up and it's it's kind of like it's so logic it goes against the era that you're being pulled in to really leap in this full it's totally against the full energy right here it's totally against taking a leap of faith it likes to stay in a comfort zone it knows what it is and I feel like you're being asked to come out of that and when you first you know come you know start to really work on your root chakra and come out of that it could be a little difficult but spirit is saying keep going okay keep going and um one of the ways to really help you is we have the um clean energy foods. When you fuel your body with a healthy organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more sufficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities, okay, and beneficial relationships. Okay. So I feel like eating clean for you, changing your diet is really going to help you manifest the desired finances and career and really helping you step into your life purpose, whatever that is, because it it's going to look different for everybody. But I feel like um, when you start to eat clean, it's really going to help you get balanced and get grounded where you're going to be able to, you know, it's not going to be so foggy, you know, it's not going to be so, um, because this person, you know, she's, she's balanced, but it's a little unclear. And even when you, when you, I feel like when you ground yourself and really get some kind of food or eating more um, clean energy foods, it's really going to help you trust your intuition to trust spirit. Okay. Bring you back into balance, bring you back into balance and you're going to be able to focus. Okay. Because I feel like where you're going, it, it's going to take you, you're, you're going to need to be, um, really balanced, really grounded, really focused. Um, so, you know, I want to say this was crazy, but like when, um, one of the things is when I really started to open my intuition and really, um, step into my, um, my calling as a healer, you know, within myself to heal myself first. Cause that's all it is. You, you healing yourself to just show other people like it can be done and, you know, maybe to point them in a direction, but they're going to heal themselves, you know, it started with me really healing myself, really, you know, fueling my body, fueling my mind, 
um, you know, pouring in wisdom. Because I feel like you have a lot of wisdom to share. There's a lot of wisdom, you know, that you can courses and just books and just different things and all of these great things are inside of you. And I feel like the more that you do this, we have blooming. It's going to come. It's going to, you know, um, it's, to start, it's going to start showing itself. You know, we have healer again. You're a healer. This pal is radiating, radiating healing. We also have the death card. And I feel like, you know, by you really honoring your path of being a healer, there are a lot of things that you're going to say goodbye to. But spirit is saying, don't worry. There are a lot of things that are coming your way. And for a lot of you, this is love. And for and it could be a love, the love that you desire in, a fi in your finances. But I'm also feeling like a partner, a mate. OK, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. And spirit is saying, don't be afraid to ask for what needs to be met. Ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So being open, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of decisions that you're going to be making. What needs to stay with you? What needs to go out of cluttering out of your life? Um, you know, internally and, and, ex and outside of yourself, okay, to really help you tap into your um, personal power so you can ascend with this universal energy here, okay? And we also have a quiet retreat. This, it's very important that you take time to be by yourself. It's time to disconnect from the outer world, okay? Even if you are a healer actively, actively working in your gift or working in your business, I feel that the more that you um, retreat quietly, go within, get in that hermit mood, when you come back out, you know, it, it's going to be a whole nother vibe, a whole nother way. But I wanted just to help anyone, just in case you just, you know, you weren't really sure <laughs> of, you know, like what's your life purpose or, you know, what are you, what are you really passionate about? A lot of you, we have healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others and all kinds of forms in different ways. We also have heart's desires. It's endless, okay? The angels are supporting you, guiding you, protecting you as your dreams become a reality, okay? We also have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. Look at these cards. We have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gems is a channel for healing energy. I'm seeing like opening a crystal shop, you know, um, getting connected with crystals, really um, Reiki healing. All of these things are possible because it doesn't matter, but you have options here. It says, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. We also have Oracle cards. Tarot reading. I really feel like if you go ahead and do it, heal that body, work on yourself, launch your channel in 2020 is going to skyrocket. It says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. I feel like a lot of you, you know, in this pile, you already kind of know tarot, but it's more of the technical side. Um, and in 2020, I'm going to be launching a, <laughs> um, a course um, in tarot. And it's more so the... The more so the business side of it, like the tags and, you know, how to like buy, like, you know, how to um, be consistent in your channel, how to grow your channel, things like that. I'm going to be showing, showing that aspect if, you know, just in case you already know what you're doing, you already know because it's intuitive gift. It's no way to read, no wrong way to read tarot. It's just about you being dedicated uh, about your, your purpose, your healing to help others. That's what this is about. I'm going to be launching a course in 2020 to really help people, you know, really take their um, their business. You know, they're calling their gifts to the next level. We also have um, environment environmentalists always messes the word up. You're an earth angel. You hear me? Who was born to protect, OK, nurture and teach about nature and the animals. So you're here to help with the um, work with the um, the earth. We have body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as a massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy or exercise training. OK, and we also have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need help. So like I said, definitely a healer. And the more that you help, the, the, the universe wants me to tell you. Spirit is very clear. God is speaking in. And the, the universe is saying, the more that you are willing to help and uplift this planet, the more that you're going to be rewarded because it's pure, okay? <laughs> you're very pure, pure hearted, honey. So listen, know with the guidance, you are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. realms. Yeah, have courage, okay? You earth 
angel. So I know that was a lot. I know it's probably a little weird. However, <laughs> I can't control what comes out in these cards and the way that spirit is asking me to read it. I love you guys. I hope that you have a phenomenal 2020 rock out at it, okay? <laughs> I love you and I will catch you on my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all those social media things. Share it with a friend that you feel may resonate with, um, with this and they're really trying to really earn or have they're really trying to experience financial freedom and live out their passions okay i love you guys so freaking much and it was such an honor to read for you and i will catch you on my channel take care follow she blazing